Hey yo, we got a danger up in this club. When you get started, no, you ain't gonna stop. We get it all going until it gets too. Hey guys, welcome back, Horrorbomb here. <laughs> we have begun. Shoutouts to Mega by Alex, Swimming Swamper, Timmy, and Joyce are most of you blocked the stream already. Noah's here as well. What's poppin' people? How y'all doing? What's good with you, Pokemon family? That's a new face. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. A, a, ya, ya. Let's play a game. Might as well, right? While we wait for people to show up. How are you guys doing today? I'm going to go ahead and tell people that I'm streaming. I am flooded right now. There is water everywhere. I, I don't like getting wet. Fun fact about me. Fourth like was you. a hey, dope savage. That's my boy. Welcome to the stream. You're also a new face. Nice to see you, big dog. But how are y'all doing today? Tell me what is good with you guys. Anthony. What's up, Anthony? Anthony? Oh, of course. <laughs> now that I play it, I have to lead with it every time, right? So that works. Richard is here. Raw fish TCG is a Guzma a card you would run in a four count or not? I would. I don't see anything wrong with running it as a four count. Just adds consistency. More TCG content. Do that. Tell them I'm streaming. I guess I'm going. Oh, we're playing Guardi, so it's actually a good thing that we opened up with the Krasma, huh? Now all I need is a floatstone on it. What's up, crazy pokey tuber? How you doing today? Man, I really want a sycamore. Like, I really want a sycamore. So I'm gonna sycamore. <laughs> I hate losing an aqua patch, but what can you do, right? If I can get a, a if I can get a float, no float stone, that sucks. I'm gonna get rid of his choice band though, because that thing is a threat if he gets enough energies next turn. This is my way of beating this deck, so I gotta keep that in mind. What's up, Brock? My boy, I think Swampert already put it on the channel. So I don't have to worry about it. Shout out to Swampert. Um, my boy, Richard. Thanks, man. Thanks means a lot for my favorite YouTuber. Dope Savage. Bro. My feelings. My feelings. I feel good right now. Is he going to knock me out? Because then, like, I played this for no reason if he knocked me out. What do you think of losing me? I think it's alright. One, two, three, four. Three, and... Oh, he didn't even knock us out. So we can get off a big hit on this thing if we get a DC. We gotta get it first. And yeah, let's take more again. Because I want DC this turn. And then I can do my GX attack and finish him off with Nine Tails if I get, like, a couple really good cards here. We got our DC, so we can GX now. I hate that I'm GXing this early, but what can you do, right? Watch him, watch him play Max Potion. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be triggered. I'm gonna be triggered if he's the max potion variant. So let that be let that be known. Whew. Oh, you got Sycamore. Alright, so we can't ace a roller this turn. All he can do is get like another Pokemon, knock us out, we get a return knockout. The second he plays down Lele's, we pretty much have a pavement to win this game. Here and using the Hurricane's Horrible. It is awful, horrendous. So because I didn't attach last turn, I'm actually in a really awkward position. But the good news is if I can attack with Lele, I'm in a really good position because I get a knockout and he's in an awkward position after that. So I might have to just focus on attacking with Lele this turn. So hopefully I can get my DCE. There's a couple things I need here. I want a floatstone for sure. I'll put you two down. Yes. Just want to see what's in the deck. Acerola, Guzma, and Insigmar. That's it. This would be a perfect time to have Lusamine. Not gonna lie. We got three DCs left though. We have a bunch of float stones as well. I need my I need to put a third float stone back. It's too useful. Honestly, I should maybe just take out Espeon and just use my GX attack with uh with Necrozma and that's it. Maybe I don't even need the Espeon. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it for sure. Well we need a one it's a one retreat cost regardless, so I'm gonna evolve this one. This will help. Maybe. Mini, mini, money, you. 
My screen is stuck on a stre streaming soon. Image rip. We got our floatstone. We got our DCE. We have this as well. I'm not gonna play it yet. Dope. We get our big knockout here. If he doesn't put down another Pokemon, another DC wins me the game. Hey, where I just got the notification. Hey, that's good because we just started streaming. We've only been streaming for five minutes, so that's a uh, it's pretty decent. It's a better. That's pretty good for YouTube standards at least. But what's up, Noah? Pretty sure I saw Lucas. What's up, Lucas? Darkwing, Robert, my people, lovelies. Y'all are part of the Aura Army. Welcome to the nation. Y'all doing so well. I hope y'all doing well. Go ahead and drop a like on the stream. It's always appreciated. Alright, so we got rid of one Gardevoir. Now we're going to be in an awkward position, and I have to start attacking with Coco if I can. Because I can't get rid of more. Actually, I can just start killing Ralts off. I'm probably going to start doing that, to be honest, just because if I can get rid of all of his Guardies, I'm in a decent position. <clears throat> what did I do today? Uh, it's, still, it's still flooded in my area, so I didn't really do much. Did the usual cooked, clean... Uh, set up everything. I woke up this morning at like 4 a.m. because it was really, it was flooding really bad around my house, so I had to. What's it called? Uh, oh man, there's so many choice bands. Um, let me do. I have to play Guzma this turn, right? Um, I'll drop the Sycamore. I'm already getting close to deck out. I had to dig holes around my air, around my house to like, what's it called? Um to like move to like drain the water I guess move it to different locations all right so if I can get well actually I don't need much this turn but I, I'm gonna knock out the I am gonna knock out the Ralts I'm just trying to think of what else I might need dope we can start setting up you so that we can get another knockout next turn potentially for now I'm just gonna go ahead and Guzma this thing out it's my last Guzma but figured now is a decent time to play it what am I doing I can flying flip later. For now, I think Lele into Ninetales attacks are going to be decent. First time catching the stream from the beginning. Super hyped. A hey, crazy poke to rest. Oh, welcome to the stream. 70 away from 2,500 subscribers. We are so close. Guys, tell your mom. Tell your dad. Tell your aunt. Tell your creepy grandpa. Tell your your really hillbilly cousins that Orbomb is a wonderful DCG channel that you should be subscribed to. Tell them all. Alright, so he's gonna evolve into the to like Guard of War this turn most likely, which is awkward. <clears throat> There's not too much I can do about it except potentially weaken it with Lele, but I don't even think I'll be able to pull that off. I guess I can attack this Deancey this turn. He has Octillery now though, and I want to get rid of that Octillery. I don't think I have any more Guzmas left though. There might be one more left, but I don't. I remember seeing a one of every of every supporter in the deck. So if something tells me that I don't have any more, and I'm not going to try to get it. So he didn't attach. Oh, he's just going to attack this turn. No, no, never mind. What's he doing? He didn't. He already attached. For, oh, I see. He's Guzmay. He's going for that. One, two, three, four, five. He doesn't get a knockout. Unless he has choice band. No, he doesn't have choice band. And we can. Oh, we, we can't GX. Never mind. And that makes things really awkward for me. <laughs> like super duper awkward for me. I can't do anything about it. David Nunez, thank you for subscribing, bro. What's my favorite Pokemon? Mine is Toki Kiss. What's up, Corey? Oh, where I didn't get salty when you picked you. What's actually flooding your house, dude? Whatever, man. Get out of here. Uh. This becomes super duper awkward for me. I don't know what to do now. I'll draw with Octillery. I'm going to try to attack with this. Oh no, we can't do it. Not this turn. Hmm. Oh well, you're attacking with, I'm attacking with Lele this turn. Hold on, did I attach with the turn? I didn't. Alright, let's do it this way. I want to keep the DC on there. I know it gets him an easier knockout, but he's going to get an easy knockout regardless. I want my damage on this Gardevoir. Whew. And we got a dislike. Hey guys, drop a like on the stream. It's always nice to have like the dislike like ratio be pretty, you know, in the favor of the liker. This deck is a pain. Gardevoir or Ninetales? 
Gardevoir is a pain to deal with because it's such a good deck. And it looks like everyone's playing post rotation on the ladder now. Which is actually super duper dope. That means I can get some decent practice. 36 watching and 9 likes. Guys, click the like button if you have not done yet. Ashik. Ashik? Thank you so much, bro. Yang is here. They come to the stream because I am at the Bangkok. Hey, well, I mean, how's Bangkok? And, um, thank you for dropping by. Whose birthday is it? Is it David's birthday? Did he say so? I didn't see it. I didn't even see David, uh, post anywhere. Oh, here it is. Hey, or it's my birthday today. I want to ask, what do you think is the best deck post rotation? Right now, I think it's like almost unarguably Gardevoir. Um, but happy birthday to you, David. Shout outs to you, big dog. I didn't see your comment. My bad. But now I saw it. So, you think Ninetales is a pain? It's so. I think it's pretty bad in post rotation. Now that I'm like playing it myself, I'm not the biggest fan. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan. But we do get to knock out this Guardian when we're just one knockout away from winning the game, which is pretty, pretty dope. So where's my Aqua Patches? I have two more left in the deck. I know they're in the deck, so I have to get pretty decently lucky with this. I like that. Tapu Koko is fun, bro. Apparently, Styx was playing the Tapu Koko deck the other day, and he was having a really hard time winning with it, my uh, unbeatable Tapu Koko deck that I posted. So he could probably win this game if I'm not careful. It's only keep in mind. <clears throat> Ideally, this turn, I get a DCE, and, uh, actually, I can just win, I can just attack with Lele, right? So, ideally, this turn, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, though. I have to draw one really good card off this Octillery, I think. I could try to Aqua Patch, and it would be really hard for him to attack me and knock me out. You need to get a choice band and two fair energies on this thing next turn, which is seems very unlikely. So it's all or nothing here. We're going for the aqua patch play. Um, I could there's Lele right there too. I could also use Lele this turn. Let's let's use Lele this turn. I, that can get me an N. <clears throat> N is nice because I can potentially get more cards with the N in case things don't work out very well with this auxiliary play. And let's see what's left in the deck. I have one Aqua Patch, and that's it. I have to get the Aqua Patch somehow. The question is, do I play N first? I don't think... I think I play N right now, right? Because I can make my hand even smaller before Octillery. So I'm actually going to play N right now. Put them down to two cards. That way I can have the potential to make my hand smaller. I think I might lose this. I need Aqua Patch here. I mean, I won't lose unless he gets a good, unless he gets Guzma off this. Oh, we got the Aqua Patch. Shoutouts to Ninetales for being a G. And we have the DC for next turn as well. So we can Blizzard Edge now. And there we go. Back to the chat. <coughs> mm. Yeah, I don't care if I ask, but do you play Pokemon Go? What team are you? I don't play Pokemon Go, but I was Team Mystic. Whenever I did play. And, but what's up, Davey? Corey, it's Borderland Auto Loss to most of my decks. This Ninetales is. Kingdred does good with it. Yeah, it's pretty decent. What is the best counter to Gardevoir? I know Metagross is good, but like Bulu. But I like Bulu even better. I mean, if you play a Kakui build of Bulu, you can beat the Gardevoir in that matchup if you have a decent setup. So I would play a heavy. I would play like two or three Kakui count uh, and have four choice bands, and then you'll be in a decent position, I think. How bad is it? Where are you? It's not, it's not... I'm not in the worst position, but I can't leave my house because all the streets are flooded in my area. Any six scoop-ups from my Tapu Koko deck? I don't have any. Uh, online? I have a couple online if you need them. But Metagross is just a good deck in general. I would play Metagross. Metagross also beats this deck, which, by the way, the Necrozma thing is pretty dope with the Metagross idea. I almost want to run Max Elixir in this deck just to like put energies on Lele. What's up, Timmy? How you doing, bruh? Is something up with the sound? Yeah, there's a lot of rain. It's, it's still storming in my area, so you guys are going to hear it. That's why I haven't recorded, because it's impossible to record.
Yeah, Bulu's not... Like, Bulu is a decent matchup. I think it's still in Guardi's favor because you're relying on playing supporters to win the game. So I'd say... But it's, like, not even that much in Guardi's favor. I'd say 60-40. Um, is the flood water gross? I mean, it's not something you want to do. You don't want to swim in flood water, just in general. It's pretty nasty. <sighs> okay. I don't know how good Espeon is. The only issue I have with it is that, like, I don't know. Who has Gardevoir decks and wants to play against me? Uh, actually, it's I kind of disagree with you, Jack, because like the deck, because in this new in this new format where all the decks are a lot slower, even if it is slightly inconsistent, which I don't, I, which I can argue that it isn't. Um, it be it's not hard to set up just because of that. I think what I'm gonna do, I don't know. I like the two cocos. I want to add another floatstone. If anything, I'll probably drop Espeon for it. But uh, all right, all right, Joey, come battle me, bro. I'm gonna battle you with nine tails. I just want to keep testing the matchup. I know it's not in my favor, but I want to keep trying it. What's up, Juan? How you doing, brah? Nice to see you. You're also a new face, I believe. I don't recognize you from previous streams. And if I, if I, if I, it's if, uh, whatever. Would Mega Art Gardevoir with Brilliant Arrow work? Yeah, I'm sure you can make decks with it, bro. You play the uh, Xerneas, build up the field. I think a Pokemon have way too much HP nowadays for it to work really well. But, uh, and we lost Regirock promo. But there's a lot less disruption in the meta right now, so it actually could work. I was thinking hitting the promo top of Coco and Bulu, and Bulu early to make Gardevoir and Ranger the choice band. I do agree with that as well. That's another way to win the game. Um, the only thing with that is that a lot of these Guardi decks play Max Potion and Acerola. So a good so a good Guardi player can actually dodge those knocks out, knockouts. Um, but it's still a really good strategy. So I would I would still play the Kakuis because that means you can get the knockouts from full relatively easily without the need to set up a two-turn attack. But if they do if they do something like Bridget early games, I would say the I would say the the um the Coco plays really good. No, Joey, you can stay on stream, bro. You don't have to hop off stream for this. Do you have a Metagross list you can show off? I know I played one last night. I can show it again. Oh, you oh you use Mega Guardi and Guardi GX in the same deck? I would say no, because Guardi GX is already super inconsistent. So adding more to it doesn't seem very safe. At least in my opinion. We're going first, right? So you get a turn on Pidget Bridget here as long as we have it. Is your stuff okay? Yeah, nothing. None, none of my stuff was damaged. I'm also in an elevated floor, so uh, besides like the house itself, I don't see any of my property being damaged. Um, hopefully he doesn't do anything crazy like end me. We can go ahead and do the stuff here. Please don't be prized stuff. Because if you're prized, and stuff becomes awkward. What am I doing? <laughs> My bad, guys. He also doesn't get any turn one knockouts, as far as I'm aware. So we should be okay with this. We have an Ace Roller prize. I should probably check my prizes all these games. Guardi Jix is just, is just supporting Mega Guardi. You can say that, but you're also adding extra Gardevoir EXs and Spirit Links and Mega Gardevoir EXs. So that's so many extra cards that you don't need in the deck. Um... We can do this, I think, pretty safely. I'm gonna wait before I play that down. I don't know what his build is. He has a Deancey, which I'm afraid of. I'll wait on this. I'll just pause here. 
He's just supporting. Uh, I mean, like Joe really likes his his uh, other his Rimbombi build a lot. I mean, I've seen him play with it. And it's pretty decent. It's just like it's just more. It's just another supporting guard, right? It, it makes his deck a little bit end weak, but like it's still decent. I've been playing rotation decks for the last few weeks. On most stage ones, have become more reliable on stage two's f uh, fizzle more often. Yeah, but I just feel like that's. I feel like that's a little bit more on your end with the decks that you're seeing. Because when you play on the ladder, and when you play, whenever you play on the higher ladder, when you have a higher elo, and whenever you play like actual really, really good competitive players, you see more often than not that they're actually having a perfectly fine time. And like, like if you ever watch my battles against Devin, he hasn't, he has yet to like not set up really well against me. And I'm playing just a stage one deck, I'm not even playing something crazy, like a stage two deck. Alright, so he wished up that mon. So it makes me kind of want to set up a nine tails just to do some damage from now on. Hmm, I think I will. I'll just start getting off my damage where I can. I don't want to end him. I want more view down, and I guess I'll just play Sycamore. Dope. I will take it. I'll wait till next turn before I do anything else though. For now I will Aurora Beam. You know, it's this card that makes me want to play Kakui in this deck again, but I'm not in the mood to play like a two count of Kakui in this deck. If you want to play Guardia GX with something like Mega Guardia, just do Xerneas Break. Yeah, I kind of agree. If you just attack with Xerneas, it's so much easier to play the game that way. You have max elixir targets. Uh, Xerneas Break is decent. This is a really decent attack. You have Orangu for consistency. It's so consistent if you want to play Guard of Mega Guard of War EX. But if you play Guardia GX, just like consistency is key. I'm sure you've heard really good players say that before. I'm not. A, I'm not I don't think I'm a really good player, but I mean that's what they say. Consistency is key. He has a Ranguru, so I have to keep that in mind. This thing can catch the attack. What's up, Mud Mudkip Gaming Nation? Though I didn't say your name yet. How you doing, bro? What is the song in the background? It is Red and Blue SS and Remix by Glitchek City. Wow, these hands are something else, I swear to god. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna fully set up this boy. If I can, like... Oh, that's all I can do, never mind. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> uh, ooh. Alright. Is it worth? I don't think so. I do want to become a Ninetales, though. So I think it's gonna be worth just to get it out. Play my last Aqua Patch so it's fully ready. I don't have to play the Aqua Patch yet though. I think I'll be okay there. I just don't want this thing being knocked out very easily. He doesn't have a Gardevoir out yet. <clears throat> two Mega Guardies, two Guardi EXs, then a 3 2 3 Guardi Lion, and a Deancey. Do you not play the Spirit Link? I guess if you play the Deancey, it's not super necessary. But I don't like it. I, I'm just gonna, Robert, I, I get it. And like you play, you can play it. If you like it, you can play it. I personally would never play it though. Not in, a, not in a tournament. Uh, maybe just for fun if I wanted to be trolly. But that's about it. I'm doing good. Thanks. Good to hear, bro. You're assuming... No, I'm not assuming you're... I'm not playing you. I'm not assuming you're not playing competitively. I'm talking about really competitive players. Like, when you're around really competitive players. Do you know... Do you have any, like, like good friends that go to Worlds? Because I have a lot of friends that go to Worlds. Uh, that went to Worlds this year. Unfortunately, they missed top eight. I feel so bad. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Like I'm around. I'm around. A, I'm around a lot of really good players, and I've never seen any of them like mess up unless it was just like really, really unlucky. And a shame. Oh, if you're playing expanded, that's different. Like maybe maybe it works in expanded. I don't know. I don't play. I don't have experience with expanded, so I can't tell you otherwise, Robert. Um, he's got his thing down. He doesn't have his ability yet, though. This I'm going to knock out very quickly, because I don't want it becoming an issue for me. How much damage does this do? 20? Okay, that's not an issue either. Yeah, I'm definitely knocking out this Oranguru. <clears throat> okay, we can Guzma as well. I can knock out Lele, I guess. Get a couple extra prizes from it, since I'm playing... 
the the Coco. I want to hold on to that choice band. Um, I don't know. Cause I, I I want to attack. I want to attack this. Like for show, I want to attack this. I can also attack this and stop him from setting up. I actually kind of like that play a little bit more. Just knock out these guardies before they become an issue, since guardy is the number one enemy. D. Ray Dennington. Nice to see you, bro. You're a new face. Happy to see you on stream. It's not quite footing here, but really close. Yeah, I feel you, bro. 34 watching and only 18 likes. Drop a like. Tell him again, Noah. Tell him again. I didn't attach with a turn, did I? I don't really think I need to. I want to hold on to my DC. A little bit Greninja Break and Nightmare, so stop playing Expanded. Yeah, there's a lot. And Trevenant. Trevenant's becoming really big. I actually have a list of, like, the top 30 decks in Expanded right now that I really, really like. And that are really good in general. He's going to Guzma me, which is terrifying. But we can still... Ooh. Ooh. Don't know what you're doing there, big dog. Not too sure what you're doing there, big dog. He doesn't have another Gardevoir out. Uh, I'm just going to try to draw. Maybe I'll get a Floatstone. I guess this is going to eventually become another Mega Guardi at some point. I don't need to attach it. If I get a Floatstone, that's ideal. If not, I can get like a Guzma or something. I did not. Mm, do I wait? He doesn't have a Diancy out. I'm going to attack this turn. I can attach there. Not a big deal. Sycamore. Ooh, computer doing things. Yeah, Dan Polo has been World's Five last year, one of the guys we test. Well, I'm okay. If that's the case, then I'm sorry that I disagree with you. I just do. I've never had an issue. You can go watch the videos. I've never, ever had an issue setting up a Gardevoir with my newest build at the very least. And even in my old build where I played a Rangaroo over. Uh, Octillery or, or over Oranguru. I've never had an issue. I've never seen. I've never seen Devin have an issue. I haven't seen people at Worlds have issues. And at Worlds, you can even argue that they have even. They should. They should have even more issues because they play so much more tech in their decks. <clears throat> I think it's just a matter of luck. If it's not, if you're not a lucky person, don't play the deck. I guess. What do you think about Honey Tails being expanded? We already. We already. It's our. It's already possible but now if you enjoy pokes you have a lot of expanded options i mean hunt tails is cool if you like playing it then i just play it so i have to get two more knockouts unless he plays another lele which he doesn't seem like he's going to do and that is once again public enemy number one so that thing's going down yeah that thing is going absolutely down we cannot let him have these things out No way, Jose. Um, I think I'm gonna like this, right? Aurora Beam. Does this deck use Espeon EX? I personally have it. I don't know if I like it. I'm testing to see if I want to take it out. Because I, I don't think I've ever played it. I mean, I've only played this deck like three times against Gardevoir matchups, but I haven't played it yet. And I've won two out of the three matches. All right, Joey, we can let's go again. Challenge me again, bro. What's up, Amanda? I brought some KMC perfect fits. Be proud. I am proud. Let me get these friend requests going. Um, the goat. Oh, it's Steven. Steven, if you're here, we can play as well. Is he here? I mean, obviously he's here. He just challenged me. How do I talk? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll challenge him later. Let's play another game against Joey. Let's see if he doesn't dead draw this time. Oh, you're watching on you're watching on your TV. Hey, dude, I'm on the big screen, or my voice is not my face. Face stays hidden. All right, Steve, we can go after that. If you haven't yet subbed to Aura, hey, tell him again. We have 36 guys. We have 36 people watching and 18 likes. Don't remember. Don't forget that I have all these extra Ho -Oh GX because I'm just itching to give away. But I'm waiting for our videos to get 50 likes while on stream. So if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and drop a like. 
it's always greatly appreciated. It helps the channel, helps the dream, gets this boy moving. <clears throat> I'll check the trade after this, Noah. I was gonna check, but I was also talking to Steven. I didn't know if he was watching, but he is watching, so that's pretty dope. See, I really hate this. <clears throat> I really hate that, like, I'm always getting these in my opening hand. <laughs> like, a lot. We have turn one Bridget, though. So we actually have a pretty decent hand here. But, like, because I don't want to play these until he's set up, right? So, at least that's the goal. <clears throat> Do I want... I mean, he's not going to attack me in turn in one turn. So I think this is ideal. I don't have any energy attachments this turn, though, which is not the best. But overall, things are not the worst, either. Actually, do you got the Discord? Hey, yeah, go ahead and... Um, if you guys subscribe, go ahead and join the Discord server. One of the moderators can pass it your way if you need it. Oh, my God. Rip Joey. Um... Uh, I'm probably going to Sycamore this turn, most likely. I'm actually not too sure yet. I think to play it safe, I'll just drop an Ace Rolla, because Ace Rolla doesn't help us in this matchup. Now we'll get a, we get Octillery. Maybe we can draw something decent. If not, we can just, like, drop this and Sycamore. So I'll give likes to show the support. Hey, tell him again, Timmy. Appreciate you. Actually, I don't even know if my thing is updating, because sometimes... When do I not watch your videos? Steven. Bro. I just assume like my IRL friends never watch my videos because like you know, once you know the once you know the face to the bomb, it's like hmm, do I even like this guy? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sick by this turn. So I want this one to be the other uh, the other nine tails. I think that's how I want to play the matchup. I'm not too sure yet. We don't even have water energies down there. This is really awkward. We haven't gotten a single energy yet actually. Hmm, not liking it. Not a fan. I guess we can beacon. This is like super duper awkward though. Uh, Lele, I guess. I guess. Uh, I don't really want a Lele. I think I'm good without it. Uh, that kind of forces him to end me, right? That's kind of what I want. Join Discord server as well and chat with Or himself. Only four ninety nine per thirty minutes. Amanda, don't do that. You're gonna think it's real. He's learn how to power shuffle. Tell him again. Hey Amanda, I saw that comment about like, what's the best channel to go see deck builds and stuff like that. You know, proud of you, Amanda. <laughs> that's a that's a very strong moderator right there. Oh, we just, we just took the damage. All right, so it looks like he can't do much here. Guess we'll do the do right. Do I sycamore? Like, I don't want to sycamore. I still have both of my things in the deck. I can't afford to sycamore. I have to end. I think. That was, that's really awkward, because I don't want to lose my aqua patches, and I don't want to play N, but what can you do, I guess? Okay, so we're at 23 likes. Okay, I was wondering why I was stuck at, like, 12. I don't remember what number it was before. Um, let's see who's in the deck. We have all of our aqua patches in the deck, and a bunch of energies prize. Where'd all my, where's all my energies? Do I have five energies prize? Bro, bro, I have five water energies prized. That's insanity. Bro. Do you see this? There's eight in this deck. I know there's eight in this deck, and there's only three here. Bro, that's wild. Palkia wouldn't fit, huh? Or Palkia rotating out? Uh, it's not fo rotating out, but I don't know if I like Palkia. Like, it's once again, if it's a setup attack, I'm not a fan of it. That's like just generally what I don't like. Is like, I don't, I don't like having attacks that involve me setting up to do it. How am I going to win this? Dude, I have no idea how I'm going to win this. I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> this became really awkward for me. I think I lose. Uh, I don't know what to do. How does this happen? I don't I I don't know who to attach. I want to attach for the turn. But I'm also kind of stuck as well. I have to attach for the turn just to be safe. Uh, I guess I'll attach here to be safe just in general and uh that's it. Ice blade for the win. Yeah, ice blade. Okay. Or have you seen the new Lucy supporter revealed? What's your opinion on it? I think it's pretty decent. I think that it's not good enough except for decks that play a lot of stadiums that matter. 
That's my opinion. Because, like, we're already... I'd rather play, like... How do I say this? How do I say this? If I'm trying to play a deck that involves a lot of setup, similar to Ninetales, similar to Gardevoir, similar to Metagross, I think I'd rather play more copies of the supporters that I want to get back than Lusamine itself. Even though it gets me two supporters back, I'm wasting a turn by playing it to get those supporters back. I get that it's a slower format, but it's not a crawling format, you know what I mean? Alright, once you get set up, we're actually in a really bad position. <laughs> I think that's my I think that's my uh opinion so far. Go to Necrozma? But why? I can't attack. I need I, 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 he doesn't have a lot of GXs on the board. I'm gonna wait. Necrozma's just gonna sit there patiently. He's gonna evolve and I'm gonna lose. And there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I can Ice Blade that. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I guess I attack with Coco, right? Just put damage on the board now? This will be one of those matchups I actually do use the... What's Rim Bombies or Tree Cause? It's one. Uh, I think I'd rather go into Ralts, but he can potentially evolve that. I have to Guzma, I think. There's I don't I don't see a way out of this situation. That's the issue. Um, I don't want to play that choice band down yet. I think I'd rather just draw one than play my choice band. Yeah, I'll just the Abyssal Hand here. I just have to flying flip nonstop. Look, one of my three water energies. <laughs> Your thoughts on puzzles being used more? It's hard. It's not as easy as people think. Because, like... You're playing a lot of sycamores, and you're playing a lot of ends. So uh, before, I mean, like people think, oh, puzzles will replace the uh, replace via seekers. I disagree. Uh, if you're playing speed decks, I'd say give it a try. I'm playing it in Darkrai right now. I like the puzzles in Darkrai, not to reuse my supporters more than to reuse my max elixirs, but I can't see myself using it in a deck like this unless I'm playing Mallow. I think if you really want to play puzzles, Mallow Octillery, although you're already using your supporter for the turn, so I don't know how much I like that idea. This became awkward, because <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm really skeptical of Lusamine. I think it's decent. I think I think if you have a deck that's really easy to set up, and you don't really have to do much every turn, Lusamine is amazing. Uh, I think decks that really rely on their supporters in stadiums, Lusamine's amazing. Uh, Lusamine is inherently a good card. It's just the meta for it is not perfect right now, that's all. Dude, if I could discard this, I would, but I can't, so Ripperoni's there. Um, I have to rely on this, because he doesn't have any bench space for any non-GX non, non -GX attackers that can actually damage me. So, that's what I gotta do. I keep, keep getting choice ban, and it's awkward, and I have to play in, because I'm in such an awkward position. I need my float stones as well. Dude, why is it the game that I actually have my float stones? I can't do anything with them. This is ridiculous. This is upsetting. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck and I'm sad about it. <sighs> Alright, well I'm gonna pass. Bro, I think I'm gonna scoop. Five of my eight energies are prized and it's impossible. <laughs> Water energies, mind you, got all the DCs. How? What are the odds of that? I wonder if so, like, can somebody do the math of that? <laughs> I'll play. I'll play Joey again. That was that was like that was not a that was not a match I could win. That was not. I don't. I feel like I could have played that for as long as I could as long as I wanted to, and still, and still like get nowhere. I can maybe. Oh, whoops. Did I just? Oh crap. Hold on, guys. I exactly to be Joe by accident. Um, you're the on you're the online one streaming PC right now. Uh, I'm the only one. You mean? We just point out there's a loop. I think it's one of those cards that can be useful not often to warn warn one of in deck. I think it's warrant. I think it warrants a one of in decks because you can lele get it back, and then um, have some draw supporters or Ace Rollers or Guzma's late game. 
I think it's worth playing it. I'm just not too sure yet because I haven't tested it. Sushi Master is better as a supporter Pokemon. You kind of right. But if you do play, if you do play, uh, if you do play um, Octillery, I think Lucimine becomes a little bit better because you can get back your Guzmas and stuff. Has a loop if you play too, but you have to wait a long time. Yeah, I don't even think it's worth the loop to be honest. The new sport thing is one of the. Or check your deck again. Why? Oh, I'm gonna check my deck again because I want to actually see if I play energies. But I'm almost positive I play eight water energies. Remember to like and join the ORM and tell them again, Mitch. Also, nice to see you, Mitch. Have to deal with flood stuff, so I can't make it to the league next week. Yeah, I don't think I'll be going either. Play Stadium, play Delinquent, dude. Facts. But then you're, if you're playing Lucimine for the turn, you're also not playing uh, Delinquent that turn, so you know. Oh, there's a fire challenge. Guess who doesn't care? <laughs> I'll play. I'll play Joey again, but I do want to see my deck again. I think Lucimine could be solid and expanded. Why? <laughs> That's actually the worst place I would see it in, because we have a uh, because we have VS Seeker and expanded. Why would we care about this? I mean, a supporter that gets back supporters in a in a format that's all really 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 fast. Nah, I disagree with that. I see. Yep, there is definitely eight energies here. There is definitely eight water energies. I had five energies in the prize cards. How does that happen? How do I have all five energies and then, or all five energies and prize cards and like th four aqua patches in the deck? Of course. All right, Joey, we'll play one more time. <clears throat> and then I'll play Steven afterwards. Um, that's wild. Team Bad Deck is here. What's up? Only for stadiums? Yeah, but stadiums don't matter as much in Expanded as they do in other formats. But I mean, stadiums just don't matter as much. I think if we if they start printing really good stadiums, which is kind of what I feel like it's going to happen because they made Lusamine, then it might be useful. But like, like what stadiums do you want to get back over and over again? Po Town. That's like the only amazing stadium I can think of. Maybe it's something that uh, that Gyarados plays in Expanded, but they also play puzzles, so they don't even need it. My Dark Ride deck needs a stadium more often than not. As soon as I saw it, I thought it was definitely going to go. How many? Not sure, but it'll be using it. Yeah, I feel like in Dark Ride, it's decent. Because you're not playing a draw sport every turn. Most of the time, you have plenty of energies on the field that you don't even have to worry about um, Worry about those shenanigans. Dude, every game I've gotten this. Like, I've gotten this. It's, I only play one of. Or when can I ever play? You know, dude, whenever I put Go in the chat, we can play, bro. No worries. It'll happen. My opening hand is kind of some cheek, so I'm not going to lie. Um, I became a little. It became a little bit less cheeks, <laughs> but it's still pretty cheeks. I'll just pass. Parallel city. What? What's um, parallel city and expanded? Yes, but not in standard. In expanded, you could uh, you could just use it over and over again for your mega ray matchup. But we also have Sudowoodo. What do you care? It doesn't matter at that point. I, like if we have Sudowoodo, we're in a way better position against mega ray and Dan, and uh, and Guardy and not Guardy. Um, uh, Rainbow. Wow, okay, well, this just made everything a lot better. <laughs> so, I don't want to evolve into this yet. I don't want to play End, though. I guess I can play Bridget this turn, but I need a draw supporter. So I guess I do have to play End, which is even more awkward. So I guess I will play End. Uh, I could play Sycamore, but I really don't want to. I might have to, though. Because my opponent doesn't seem to be able to do much. All they did was put down a Dancy last turn. So I think I actually should play Sycamore because it's safer. I rip. So it works for all decks. This is true. So it was also just a Pokemon you just throw down. So it's not even like a hard card to play. Choice Band on you. And Sycamore. It means I can't play Floatstone anymore, but I think I'll survive. I think we will live. Okay, these hands are becoming some sort of cheeks right now. I am not going to lie. Some sort of booty cheeks are happening right now, and I'm not and I'm not a fan of these booty cheeks. Not in the slightest. Alright, so. Drop you and you. 
Get another Vulpix. Oh, actually, this is pretty decent as well. Can I use Octillery? I can use Octillery. Alright. Let's all abyssal hand here. Okay, that's all. I just wanted water energy. That's all I wanted. You own five Lele's? I only have four. I think I'm thinking about getting a third Hyper Rare, but they're so expensive and hard to get now. You should make sure you don't have six water energies price. Oh, you're right. I need to look through my deck. Try playing Glispot. I would like to see that being played. I have a video with Glispot. I think right now I just kind of want to work on Ninetales in the guard in the Gardevoir matchup and in like some other matchups. Like Steven's probably going to be playing Metagross, and I like to. Okay, so we at least know we have at least three of our energies in the deck, right? That's good news. <laughs> we can get some knockouts here. Well, he's kind of stuck back there. I guess I'll play N. What changes to Ninetales have we made since yesterday? At the end of the stream, we added Necrozma and Espeon. I'm not too sure if I'm feeling Espeon. I think I have to play with the Espeon against Devin. Because, like, I want to use this GX attack. And then once I use this GX attack, all of his Pokemon are in range of Ninetales. Which is not bad at all. Or Aurora Beam here. Or when is the next Nuzlocke video? We had one this morning, earlier today. I don't want to say in the morning time, because actually only a couple hours ago. But we had one earlier today. You can go watch that one. And then we have the next one on Monday because, you know, it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday series. And if I do any extra streams, those extra streams are going to be Nuzlocke's because I never really feel like playing TCG in the middle of the day. I'm, it's like a late night thing for me. Dude, but we have a new squadron. Dude, we got two new Megas. We got uh, two new Mega Pokemon on the squad. We got really, we got another Delta in that, that yesterday's episode. It was kind of lit. Everything about yesterday's episode, yesterday's episode was kind of lit. Okay, so this became an instant threat. I think I really want Floatstone. <laughs> I think I really want Floatstone back in this deck. Because it's like, I, it's like a noticeable change when you go from two to three. Do you remember how is the new Ninetale spread deck against Gardevoir? It's supposed to be a little bit better in the Gardevoir matchup. Okay, now I feel like I have maybe a few too many. I want to touch the Water Energy, but I can't rely on getting a Floatstone. And I, there's, I can't get Guzma either, so we'll play on here. <clears throat> uh, I would say the Espeon is solely useful against Metagross, but I guess if you if you do stuff versus Guardian of Cosmo GX with the Espeon, it's pretty powerful. It just feels kind of like you have a clutch. You have to clutch hard. It's not hard to set up. That's what you mean. Um, things are getting kind of awkward. This stream, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'll get rid of that. <clears throat> Do I attach and try to draw the floatstone? Because I already played end, so I actually can't. I can't try to get Guzma. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just draw here because what I can do is attach the nine tails if I need to. Yeah. This side. All right. What can I do? Oh, I'm gonna get knocked out. Here you go, buddy. I'll just pass here. <coughs> I would like to see a card, a stadium, or maybe a Pokemon that allows Mega Evolution Pokemon to evolve without losing a turn, like a Mass Spirit Link. That could be dope. I mean, it's, it's they're not going to print it now, just because it's too late in the format for a card like that, um, since we've already moved past that type of card. I just start doing damage. But I do like the idea and where it's going. <coughs> so here's the thing. I don't want to attach this until after I attack. So I'm not going to. So I'm just going to Aurora Beam. Maybe it's in my best interest to play more of these Ninetales. Maybe I can play like two of these. But it means I have to get another Reverse, which is going to be kind of awkward. What's up, MTO? Did I miss anything? Nah, we've just been playing Ninetales versus Guardi since we started the stream pretty much. It's almost too situational playing the Cosmo Espeon is, is what I mean, but then again, I am bad. I mean, no, it, it is situational. It's extremely situational. It, like, Ninetales loses really hard to that deck, though. Like, all you're doing is adding two cards, pretty much, because everything else in the deck stays the same. All you're doing is adding two cards, and, uh... <coughs> also, I also need a 1-on-1 Haunts Chris. See, I'm not doing that. But, like, if they set up multiple Gardevoirs or have multiple Lele's down, it becomes a really good strategy. Especially since this can do 110. It makes me want to play Kikui so bad, but I know I shouldn't. 
Is he going to evolve? Oh, he's going to evolve. I guess he knew that all my Pokemon could either attack or, you know, do other shenanigans. Can I? And I guess I could knock out his Guardy, but then he'd just have a Guardy in hand that he can evolve into. But he'd lose all the energies. And he'd also de-evolve his Curlia. I'm going to make that play. <clears throat> I don't like it, but I guess I'll make it. Sure. I guess this is the whole reason why it's in the deck, right? Miraculous Shine. Unless he has Rare Candy in hand, he shouldn't be able to become a Gardevoir next turn. But that'll get knocked out and all of his energies will go in the discard pile. The thing is, he can just use this to attack. So, like, and it's still, like, I'm still up in the air about how I like it. But the hand is not in a bad place. Kakashi-senpai. The Cosmo Espeon is good against Guardian Metagross, but the best and maybe second best, though. I was going to use Ace this turn. Ace Arola, rip. Uh, Necrozma Espeon is good against Guardian Metagross, the best deck, and maybe second best deck. I don't know about Metagross being the, maybe the second best deck. The, I, I really can't predict that one yet. There is the thing that I was afraid of. Um, but I do know that Guardian is pretty much one of the best decks. And like if you can tech for it, if it's an easy tech, then it's fine. The only thing I hate is Necrozma, right? Because like, it's a two-turn attachment. There's nothing I can do about that. It's, it's relatively slow. Considering the meta. I was more sad when level ball's gone. Same. I was sad about that for Greninja, sadly. The rain is so loud, yeah. It's pretty loud. Let me see. No, there's nothing I can do about it, bro. I'm sorry that there's a lot of rain. Is it bothering you guys, too? Let me know. Uh, I guess I can play N. If I get another... F I want to play more float stones. The rain is soothing. Yeah, thank you. I don't know, actually, it's not a compliment to me or anything like that, but that was, I guess that works, right? If it works, it works. I'm probably going to play Acerola next turn. I can attach there. I'm afraid of shenanigans, but this is pretty decent. He's probably going to knock me out next turn with this, which is why I'm considering playing a second one of these Ninetales. I know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different options I can make here. I hate that I'm losing that DC. But what can you do, right? Aurora Beam. It's really quiet on stream. Good. That's why. But this is why I can't record. Because I've been trying to record, but the audio is so messed up and it's hard to edit. What deck are you playing? Right now I'm playing Ninetales. Just talking about my house. Oh, okay. Your house. No, that's, that's good. I, I was worried that it was really annoying because people that watch this in post are going to be really annoyed. I think Texan has been... It's been Raining is so it's good. The air feels a tad bit like autumn is coming. It's true. This is true. I do agree with that. Okay, so that's going to come in and wreck me. But he'll lose his energies there. I can get a knockout on it next turn. See, this is... Oh, never mind. He's going to knock out my Espeon now. That's a good play on his part, because he actually kind of has to make that play. But that means my Ninetales here will be safe from this, and I can try to knock that out later. Did you use Yellowswell's updated Lapras deck? He actually doesn't play Wishiwashi anymore. I disagree with not playing Wishiwashi. I think it's still very good early game because in this meta you can't really rely on drawing really well. But I saw it and it's pretty dope. What do I want to do? Rescue Stretcher is extremely useful. <laughs> I can get another knockout. I'm going to hold on to it though. I could Guzma. I want to knock out this Oranguru because it's actually a threat to my Ninetales on the bench. But then again, if I have one energy attached to me, right? He needs to have seven energy, 7, 14, 21, which means he needs to have six between us or five in a choice band, which means he'd only have to have two attachments and a choice band in hand, which is really easy for my opponent to do. So I think my better play is actually to knock out that Gardevoir. I think that's 100% my better play. Because I can knock this out later, especially if I get Aqua Patch. I'll be alright. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of this thing. We also still have our GX attack, something to keep in mind. Vulpix and Ultra Ball. Can we battle after you play this game? I count as the GOAT. Oh, you're the GOAT? Hey, what's up, Kakashi? Uh, I'm actually battling Steven next, so after this game, I'll be playing Steven. 
I play two wishy-washy. I only play one. I think one is all you need, especially if you're playing Brooklyn Hill. I can show you guys my version if you guys want to see it. I like the, I like Lapras and post rotation a lot. I feel like it's super duper strong. I just I just I had my I had my run with Lapras. I was very happy with it. Um, right now I'm like I don't know why I like Nine Tails so much. I think it's because like Nine Tails is one of those decks that don't have one simple game plan because it's relatively complex and I like that. I like complex decks so. I feel like that's the reason why I like Nine Tails so much, but who knows? I don't know why I like Nine Tails so much. Like it's one of my favorite Pokemon, but it's not like, it's not like I don't like obsess over Nine Tails. It's weird. You're back, I see. It's nice to see you, dope. I know we have Guzzi now, but once again, you have to play Guzma that turn. If you're not, if it's nice to not be forced to play a supporter. You know what I mean? Because Lapras is one of those decks that's going to appreciate decks of cards like Lusamine. Um, man. If I can top deck a Guzma, <laughs> how many, how many, uh, I have one Guzma left potentially. I'm going to try to go for it because I actually win the game. If I get Guzma here and choice ban, actually I don't win the game yet. Never mind. Um, I guess we technically got it. A Ranguru is a threat. I want to knock that out. We whiff choice band. It's a little bit awkward. But it's manageable. Well, it's assuming we even have it in the deck, to be honest. Uh, we have all of our Lele's back in the deck. We have two Water Energies down there. All right, Nine Tails. Nice knowing you, bros. Nice knowing you, bros. Give me the Lele Nader. All right, is Guzma in the deck? I should probably double check that. It is dope. Guzzlord Aura. I don't like Guzzlord. <laughs> I only play two as well. Actually, I might have upped my count to three. I'll, I'll check you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll check afterwards, guys. Guzma. We get rid of his draw support. As well as a Pokemon that can knock out this Ninetales. We'll just play these both. Actually, he could have Rare Candy and mess me up. But I think I'll be alright. And even even if he does do that, I still have this. I can take a prize on, I think, Grimbombi. Yeah, I can take a prize on that. Uh, Blizzard Edge. Rainbow Road. What decks? Are, what what deck are you playing at Fort Wayne? Um, Rainbow Road, Turbo Dark, um, Salazzle Nine Tails. Once I can get that deck running, because that deck is a low key threat. Like it's actually super strong. Um, those are some decks I kind of want to play. There's some ideas I have right now. It's yeah, boy. Rangu and Lapras is very facts. Banana Master is good for offense and support card. In this deck, and then in Gardevoir, it's really good because you actually can beat this card. It almost makes me want to play something like uh, Dumbbells, <laughs> to be honest. But like, yeah, you ain't gonna catch me playing that card in this deck. All right, all I need is one Water Energy and I win the game, right? So you can get it. I'm playing a game now, and they're playing Pissimian. Hey, Pissimian's fun. Pissimian's really good and expanded. Don Guru. I love Rangu, one of the best supporter books to come out. Facts. Actual, factual. Alright. Well played. Well, well played, bro. Well played, for sure. So, I mean, the... The deck is good at being aggressive if you don't if you don't like clunk out, which is dope. I think the king the king quasbet retreat to kill it. Oh, I guess I could have just done that, huh? All right, let me play Steven real quick. I'm sorry I'm not checking the trades yet, Noah, but uh, Steven already challenged, so I guess this works out right. I don't have to worry about challenging him later. Okay, so I'm th what I'm thinking about doing is taking out a Coco. For an extra float stone. I feel like that could be a decent play. That way that also helps me not have to buy another Coco. I, I'm just... I, I'm wondering when I'm going to play... I'm going to bite the bullet and play that third Lele. I wonder when that's going to happen. I've never had... I've only had one game where I wish I had a third Lele. Oh, this is not... Uh, Metag this is not Metagross. I don't know what he's playing. Lapras is moist. You mean... Moist. <laughs> My friend is attempting a one of Guzzlord and Turbo Dark. I don't think it's gonna work. I mean, it might. Getting four prizes in one turn is pretty decent if you can pull it off. 
But you're also that's also five dark energies on one Pokemon that's going to get knocked out with Lele in the format. Ah, it cannot be me. Cannot be. Also, you don't even get free retreat because it's like a four retreat cost. So you still have to pay a two retreat cost to make it work. Um, I don't know what he's playing, <clears throat> but because we play two stretchers, I feel relatively safe to do this. The only thing that sucks is that I have to play Lele and two N because I don't want to lose my Aqua patches, and I don't want to lose my DCE. So hopefully we get some, get some decent cards off this end. Do I have two? Okay, one Guzman prize. What's prized? We have our Acerola, we have our Bridget, we have a one Guzman prized, one N prized. Um, <laughs> we have so... Why do we have so many water energy prized all the time? We have four energy water energy prized. One N prized, one Guzma prized. That's it. That's my prizes. Guzma, N, and four water energies. What is going on? I don't understand Pokemon. Hey, Aura, what does Tapu Koko Brahma do for this deck? Is it basically a pseudo flow stone? More or less. It's also a really decent attack. Puts Pokemon in rage. Like, there's a lot of uh, 180 HP Pokemon, 170 HP Pokemon. It means I don't need Choice Band in order to get the knockout. Uh, speaking of not getting knockouts. Awkward hand is awkward. I don't want him knocking this out. I don't know what he's playing yet, though, so I guess we'll just wait and see. This least subbed if I wasn't already subbed. <laughs> Thank you. So I have Coco, GX, and Darkrai built for post-rotation. Any suggestion on what else I should build? Uh, Gardevoir. <laughs> Garbodor and Gardevoir and Volcanian variants. Just so you have enough feel of what's really good in the meta. Oh, he's playing Gardevoir, too? Dude, everyone's playing Gardevoir. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. It's what I want. It's like, it's what I want to see right now. Do you know what I mean? Um, um I can't knock this out because it's 90 HP. Uh, there's nothing I can knock out right now, which makes me want to lose his DCE. I don't know if it's smart, but I'm going to do it anyways. Because I wanted to attach a different Pokemon. I think that's my last Guzma too, so this might not be the best game for me. <laughs> Potentially not the best game. I think. I think. I think I will attack this turn with Lele. Not what something I wanted to do, but I guess I'll do it. We can get Volpix out. I can also Beacon this turn, but that doesn't seem very smart. Let's get some damage on the board. Um, yeah, we'll make this play. Because if I have, I have potentially double Octillery this game, right? So I'm probably going to have a lot of consistency, maybe, if I get lucky. Um, uh, ran out of Guzma too early. I saw, where's Luzmi when you need her? That's what I'm saying. Oh, my flow zone, no. I'm excited for Ultra Beast Sam. I have a Guardi GX Fuller, but it's not for trade. Rip. Yo, what's up, Keldeo and I see read the MLG. What's what's popping, dude? When do you when do the world champ championship decks you can buy at the stores come out? They don't usually don't come out till later in the year. This man had a perfect setup. Look at this man. That's wild. He plays Octillery. I don't like Octillery, but in, in Nine Tails that is. But it's pretty it's working out for him. That feel when you play Lapras and you tell people to play Volcanian since it beats Close Pod, but also beats Volcanian. <laughs> Dude, that's a good feeling. But yeah, where you, you, are you where it flooded? I am. I am in Houston. It is very much flooded in this area. He's got the Gallade. He's ready to knock out my other boy. He was such a good boy, too. Dude, awkward hand is awkward. He managed to get out Gardevoir so early in the game. I definitely... Oh, he has Gallade. Never mind. Is he going to attack? He's on a Premonition, I see. I don't understand the purpose of Premonitioning. Because <laughs> you're going to draw the cards anyways. But, you know, it's all Gucci, right? See, now it's awkward because I have to end him. Unless I top deck Sycamore here. Or Lele. Those would both be ideal cards. Or even an Ultra Ball. I would like any of those three top decks. Oh, he's going for the Dance Evo. That's pretty smart. I can I can appreciate. I can appreciate. If I can kill his Dance, yeah, I can actually attack with Coco relatively safely. Ooh, my boy, my boy, my boy. This is not what I wanted to see. Oh, well. We'll see if we can get some luck going here. I know I'm going to play N, but 
I'm in a really bad position right now, and there's not too much I can do about it. So, all right. <laughs> Ice Thousand Taurus, GX my Vulcan EX deck, dope. Um, how do I like this hand? We have a Ninetales that can attack this turn. Something to keep in mind. I can get a knockout on this relatively easily, relatively early, I should say. Um, I have Guzma in the deck. Hmm. I'm going to drop Sycamore, because I don't think I need it right now. I want to get the Ninetales. And I want to get a knockout on this stupid Diancie before things become an issue. Uh, do this. Alright. I'm going to try to get Coco down and attach a DC to it as well, although I'm already three DCs down. Um, something worth trying. We'll do that. If I can get rid of this Diancie and this Gallade, I'm in a decent position. We already lost Espeon as well. I need to play... Um, whoops. Do I want to keep the DC on this? I kind of do. I think I do. I think I will. It'll damage. It'll, it'll be a threat to Gardevoirs in the future. Because I can do big damage and putting them in range of other attacks. We'll Blizzard Edge here. He can get Gardevoir out next turn. Although him having enough energies to knock me out, I don't see happening. Because he only has one Gardevoir down. So I'm pretty okay with this play. OMG, are you okay with floods? Yeah, I'm good, Michaela. I feel proud that I made both streams today. Hey, that's good, oh, Michaela. Awesome. I thought about looking after the one letter. I may just do that. Also, sorry about lagging behind my internet's pretty garb. <laughs> it's pretty, it's it's alright, bro. It's alright. He's got the hyper. Look at him with his fancy hyper, fancy schmancy hyper. All right, let's see what he can do. So if he does too much damage to me, I can just easily GX, not attach this turn, and go from there. Although if I do that, he can probably get a knockout later. So like, there's a lot of plays that are kind of awkward. Can you send me a dual request after this? I'm probably going to play Steven again. So, not after this game. Uh, but after this game, I'm probably going to put Go in the chat, and the first person to challenge me will get the honor. <laughs> Alright, so he needs seven energies between us, six with this. So he needs a DC here. That's all, he, and he won't be able to get a knockout. Because that'll, that'll only be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll be alright. That's pretty good That's pretty good with me. He's going to play N here, which is fantastic. We get more cards. We have Octillery. We can probably get a second Octillery down if things go well. Once he gets a knockout, we can put down more Pokemon that are useful. He actually, he actually has a lot of Pokemon put down right now. Which is really, really good for us. Because Necrozma is going to be a real big pain for him here in a second. Especially if I can weaken this thing and he doesn't play his role or a max potion or whatever. What did Brisfly actually donate? No, that was Nebby. I hate that he did that. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see if anybody else is actually going to donate at any given time. But it doesn't look like they will. I haven't had people donate in a long time. It's not done like it's their far or anything like that. I mean, new set hype means it's a lot less appealing to donate. <clears throat> I have my other nine tails I can get back, so I will. Espeon's gonna become clutch. I have my second rescue stretcher in the deck most likely. So I'll be okay with this. Uh he's forced to attack me with this. But this is my last DC, so I don't know if I want to make that play. Um hmm. I want a Guzma this turn, though. I mean, I have two Octillaries. Let's see what we can do. Nope. <laughs> Not what I wanted to see. Let's play another one. Nope. Not what I wanted to see. Uh, we can do this and Sycamore, I suppose. We have to GX this turn, which is awkward. There is our baby, but we don't have any more DCs in the deck, so I don't think it's going to be the play that we make anymore. Yep. <sighs> That's unfortunate, but it's not the biggest deal ever. Well, since I'm not making this GX play anymore. Uh, I really want a Guzma. I could retreat and potentially Guzma next turn. I mean, if I Guzma now, if I, if I GX now, I can get a knockout with Lele or this. I'm not playing anyone next in particular. What I'm doing is, after I play this next game against Steven, maybe two games against Steven, I'm going to, uh... I'm going to put Go in the chat, and the first person that battles challenges me will be the battle. That's just how we usually do things up in here. Should I challenge you, or? Not right now, Noah. 
Oh, Noah. Noah has his big boy pants on because he beat me in Expanded in an outdated deck. Ah, I hate people like Noah. Fun, fun fact. <laughs> Ace Warrior, Lana, and Speed Lapras? Not Lana. You don't need to heal. You're going to get 2 8 KO'd anyways. Lana doesn't prevent a 2 8 KO most of the time. Does he have a canyon hand? Because it's going to be kind of awkward. It's kind of awkward. Uh, Premonition. I'm not sick anymore, but I'm having a problem with my jaw. Rip. Oh, I'm sorry. What's up, Amid? Ahmed, how you doing, bro? He's gonna GX himself. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna try to knock him out with this, but then he's gonna come in with this card, right? So I don't know what my play is here. I want him to damage something to the point where I can put a DC back into my hand. That way I wanna be able to savor this Acerola. What I think I'm going to do, actually, is I think I'm gonna knock this out. I think that's my play, right? We attach. We Guzma out this. We get a knockout on that thing. Putting only one energy in our hand, this is still in range of being knocked out. Uh, I kind of like that play. Sure. The Blizzard Edge, this. It's a knockout, right? I'm not going crazy. It's one, it's one, okay, it's 150 HP. Just Ice Blade KO him. I could, but th I, the thing is, I don't want to. Because this thing's a threat to me. Because I can wall him relatively easily with this Nine Tails, but I don't want to give him an opening for him to knock it out. So I'm trying to prevent the opening of this Gallade and knocking out my Nine Tails here. Because once this is out, I can just spam attack him, eventually devolve him with my Espeon, because I have another Rescue Stretcher in the deck. There's a lot of different plays I can make. And I also have this and this in range of being knocked out as well. Uh, this can even be be knocked out with Lele. This can be knocked out with this. There's a lot of different plays I can make, which I'm. And 110. Oh, I've only had a little bit more damage on him. I could get a knockout with uh, with this Nine Tails. A Coco hit would be able to get him a knockout. He's an enemy, but I have double Octillery, so I'll be all right. I know he can Ace Arola now, but that once again, him fully healing this is not as big of a threat as the other guard Gallade was, because Gallade can knock out this. This needs to not be knocked out, because this walls his entire field and there's no Hex. Rib or hates me. Salty bomb. I'm not salty. I'm just, I'm just like, just don't like your personality, you know? Just that's all there's to it. You gotta go or I might come back later. Just want to say hi and drop a like. Thank you, Michaela. It's greatly appreciated. All these choice bands. That doesn't even knock me out, too, so this is actually really, really good for me. <clears throat> and I can Acerola, although I don't want to. I want to preserve an Acerola for a Pokemon that has a DC attached to it. Although, if I do Acerola, I do give him a harder time to knock me out, and I need that water energy as well. Attach this. Uh, I definitely want to knock this out this turn. I think it's just safe to Acerola. I mean, I do play two for a reason. I think it's just safe. We'll make the Ace Roll play. I'll keep a bench space open. Maybe. I don't really need another Vulpix down. Uh, I'm trying to think if that's like the right play. Whatever, I'm just going to get my knockout here. Okay. So these changes to the deck I made are pretty decent. We're finally getting our water energies. We had four water energies prized, an N and a Guzma. How ridiculous. Okay, so now this is the only thing I have to knock out. And I win the game. Hopefully he doesn't get Ace Roll. He's probably going to try to get Ace Roll this turn. He's going to Guzma. All right, so he's going to try to get a big knockout here. So he actually has some prizes, which is a decent play. Uh, he can knock out my Lele. Lele is a threat to him. Uh, I could speed up this game by attacking his Gardevoir with Lele. Does he have Floatstone in hand? I guess he's relying on it. Because I can Guzma myself, right? I can get Coco, Guzma, attack this with Lele and be in a really decent position. Because I have another Coco in the deck still. And I messed up. Rip. Actually, Mad Bomb. Hashtag actually Mad Bomb. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good hashtag. 
This matchup is so bad for Ninetales. It's such a bad matchup for Ninetales, but I'm playing like tech cards like Necrozma into Espeon to deal with the matchup. I'm just trying it out, which is why I want to play all these different Gardevoir builds. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not enough damage. It's not enough damage. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna Guzma, because I want to damage this, because this thing's a threat. I could also potentially try to knock this out. 60 damage, 80 damage, 110 damage, still not enough. Um, uh, so many different plays I want, I want to make, but I can't make safely. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to... I want to keep one water energy in my hand, and in the deck, at least. But I definitely want to damage this. I could also damage this, but like I don't want... If anything, I want him ace rolling the one with a bunch of energies, right? Even though he can Secret Spring, that's still one less energy. We'll go ahead and just Aurora Beam here. Not too much else we should do. But I have a good person I arrow. Oh, no, I'm, I'm just messing with you, Noah. No worries, no worries, no worries. You're cool, you're cool, you're fine. Alright, let's see what happens. He needs a Guzma here if he wants to get another knockout. Knocking out Lele would be a really good play for him. Um... He has no real way of damaging this Ninetales. So many energies, that's so scary. He's gonna try to knock this out. He shouldn't, because he needs to knock out this Lele. Maybe I should have played down Lele and attached an energy to it. That could have been a play as well. Uh, he's gonna Guzma here, yeah, we're in a really awkward position now. But we still have Aqua Patches in the deck, and lots of them. No, never mind, just one. But we only really need one. So we win this game if we get it. So that's going to be the play I make. If it's in the deck, I win the game. If it's not in the deck, it's awkward. <laughs> Things are a little bit awkward. Um, but we only have seven cards left in the deck. We can easily just Ultra Ball and see if it's in the deck. But if we Ultra Ball... I have to Ultra Ball cards I can't put down, right? I can Lele first. Um... I'm just going to Lele first, see what's in the deck. Alright, Aqua Patch, hook a brother up with your existence. You do exist. We can grab Ace Arola. I have two Octillaries. The chances of me getting this are pretty decently high. Let's drop you two. They're not that high, though. <laughs> we'll get things out of the deck. Alright, Octillery, hook a man up. Okay. In case this doesn't work. Last Octillery, please. My boy. My boy. Well played, Steve. Alright, so we managed to bring that game back. That's a knockout, right? Okay, cool. I wanted to make sure my math wasn't wrong. Whew. All right, we can get a re we can get a rematch, bro. If you want to play. Man, we had four energies prized. All right, so once again, the cards that I'm thinking about taking out, I really want more float stones. Cause Guzma. But then again, if if, you're, if I'm playing Guzma, I don't know if it's worth playing more float stones. I might even just play a fourth Guzma. Okay. They need two out of three options on PTCGO. They do. I agree with this. Dude, playing Gardevoir is so stressful. Playing Pokemon right now is so stressful. Opening hand is pretty nice, actually. We can get a turn on Bridget. And have a draw supporter for the next turn as well. And be able to play Vulpix and use my ability I and mean, use my attack. So overall pretty good with the hand. Uh, I don't know what his counts are.
Oh, and a good card to start off with as well. He plays both Diancie and Vulpix, similar to the World Championship build. I don't like it in post-rotation, but it's pretty decent. He's going to end me, so there goes my perfect hand. <laughs> I had a really good hand, but that's fine. We have our two We have two Pokemon down already, so we're actually in a decent position. Oh, we're going to lose a lot of Ace Roller here. But what can you do? I have to be a little bit more careful with my DC accounts since we're going to lose these Ace Rollers. Pappy, am I okay? I'm good, Nico. But how are you doing, Nico? It's nice to see that you made the stream. Always appreciated. Uh, do I attach? I think I Sycamore. I want DC for sure this turn. We whiffed it, though. Um, this is my first turn, right? I think that's all I want to do. Yeah. What do I have down here? Yeah, this is all I want to do with this turn. I'll take it. Might be a dumb question, but would Glaceon be good tech in Ninetales? Glaceon's not good right now because Tapu Lele can just attack Glaceon. Um, you would you would only be playing it for decks like Metagross and Ninetales, but then they can both Pokemon have the ability to load up their Leles, so. It's not worth it, in my opinion. He's going to get a Gardevoir out really early, which is awkward. Alright, so we got one Field Blower out of the way. He has an early game Guardy, so i got to keep that in mind. I can get out... I can try to get out a... What's it called? There's DC. I kind of want to play the other... <laughs> There's so many things I want to do now. Because uh, this thing can out-heal my Coco. So even if I do attack with Tapu Koko, I'm going to be out healed, which is a little bit awkward to say the least. I think what I want to start things off with this turn is dropping you and you to get Octillery because I can actually attack with a low in nine tails this turn because I have all the cards for it. And I think I'm going to do that just to start things off because I want to, but he has a Gardevoir almost fully set up, which is awkward for me. Um... Before I attach energies, I'm going to draw with Octillery. I know I can draw five off Octillery, but I, the, the play right now is so iffy that I don't know if I want to make that play. There's a couple other plays I want to make. Like, I want to be able to Guzma and damage this directly. I want to be able to knock out Ralts. I don't know. I'm, I'm still I'm still trying to figure out how to play this matchup. So we got the Guzma. So the good thing here is we have this. Oh, okay. I can Ice Blade. I don't want to Ice Blade. I think I just have to attack with Nine Tails. I don't think I have much else of a play to make. I can knock this out, which is terribly threatening. I want to damage this though and knock it out with SP. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm losing two of my Aqua Patches here. If I make this play, all right. Here's the play I'm going to make. I'm not going to attach for the turn because I might want to attach to this in case he does any shenanigans. Um, lose him up that thing. Do some big damage to it. Early game. And if he tries to do any shenanigans towards me, I can GX it. And I have one less energy, so it becomes a little bit harder for him to knock me out. Although, the thing is with Gardevoir is that overall it's not that hard. If he gets six energies and a choice band between the two of us, he gets a knockout from full. Uh, luckily, he only has one Gardevoir out, so the chances of that happening are pretty low. He did have an Acerola, which is fine. Because I can knock this out. Although he's gonna just sparkling wish. Ah, oh, it's so awkward because he can just keep doing this. He can. Put, oh, he's gonna become an octillery. Interesting play. Mm -hmm. We have another Guzma. I guess I'll try to attack with Nine Tails again. Maybe. We'll see. Because I want to knock this out. Because it's a threat now. I need another Aqua Patch, and an attachment. 
I don't want to rely on it though, because there's not very many cards I can rely on. But we got it, so that works out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna knock out these things while I can. Knock out the budding threats. We'll blizzard edge this thing. Hopefully he whips rare candies. I want to get my other nine tails out. Why would I ice blade the guardy? It puts it at 180. I, I mean, I want it to be able to ice blade into this, but it's not going to put it enough damage. I haven't had a power in about two days. Finally got power back. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tricky? Nice to see that. Why is it always one dislike? Oh, we have haters. What can you do? He does have the rare candy, which is awkward. It's overkill, but I, it's not like I can do any less damage to the to the thing. I'll damage this and hopefully have an energy for Espeon later. I don't see him being able to get a knockout this turn. We have 43 people watching and 37 likes. Hopefully we can hit that 50 like mark so we can give away a... Uh, a what's it called today? A, a OGX today on TCGO. But if not, it's not a big deal. There's another Curly. He can't evolve this turn, so we're okay. Don't know why he played that there. Alright, so he's going to do damage. We can GX. Oh, he's in a Twilight. Huh. Interesting. Mm. Do I like the Twilight? I wish Necrozma was a water type. Since it's rare candy, you can hit it easier with Espeon. I know it's easier, but uh, that's true. It's putting a bunch of cards back. God, so many cards. Um, all right, cool. I'm gonna Lele as well. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Uh, cause I can do big damage with Lele. He'll get a knockout. We get a return knockout slash Espeon knockout. Um, I could attack with Coco. He already played an Acerola for the turn, right? Although I need two Coco Strikes. It's just too much setup. I, I don't have time for that much setup. I could Guzma. Knock out a Remoraid. A Ralt, I mean. I can also knock out Octillery. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. Before I make a play, I'm going to go ahead and Octillery here. Choice Band doesn't do too much for me. Choice Band puts him at how much HP? 180. He's 20 short. I'll need a second Choice Band. If I want if I want to make the Coco into... Like, I can attack with Choice Band and Coco to damage this. And then finish him off with a different Pokemon. Like, with Ninetales. But... The play is a little bit awkward because I need a second choice band. Uh, hmm. I know I have water energy for Espeon next turn, but the thing is, I don't want him getting a knockout. I don't want him getting a return knockout. That's what I'm trying to say. I could also just Guzma this out. Get a knockout there. Like, I'm trying to figure out what's my best play in the long run. This card is such a threat, and it's going to get a knockout next turn. On this nine tails, if I attack it with this nine tails, it's such a heavy thing to ask to try to get a choice band. You know what I mean? I don't have any. I don't have too many aqua patches left either, so I can't really afford to lose water energies willy nilly. I could draw, but drawing doesn't do too much for me right now. I need the other, you know, I need this one. I need this other nine tails out. I think I'm going to try to get that out. If I play N, he gets more cards, which is what I'm trying to avoid. And I don't want to play N, but I have, I should have plenty of water energies left in the deck. I think I'm okay to afford to make this play. Let's see what I got in the deck. I have the nine tails. I have one more aqua patch, and I have my last two DCs. I can afford to make this play, but I don't have my last choice band. So that's really bad for me, actually. That's really bad for me, actually. Now I regret my play. I don't have any more goose ones either. Uh, okay, my other choice band is prized. If 
I could just choice ban this and this would have gotten a knockout. But unfortunately, it's not how it's going to work. I can keep a water energy on it that way. I'm going to play in here. I need the other nine tails down. I'm going to have to win with this card since he doesn't have the other thing. Dope. I'll take this. Losing more and more water energies nonstop, but it's better than making no play this turn. Um. This play now since there's not really a drawback. Uh, we'll retreat. Flying flip and make this play for now. But from where does he choose from? Do you have Lele in this deck? Let's see, yes, I do. I'll be able to think that hot like button. Thank you, OP Ranger. Are you in Houston? I am in Houston. What's up, boss zombie? Panera Bread was giving free food and I got some of the, they were giving like whole bags of bagels, that's dope. No Panera Bread's in my area, unfortunately, so I, I wouldn't be able to take advantage of that if I wanted to. Some butt ore, see you in the next stream. Alright, see you later, MTO. Uh, FYI, if everyone that Lucky Charms is the best cereal, that's absolutely incorrect. Lucky Charms is fairly gross. It's pretty gross. Uh, okay, trade us off. Okay, I still want to make this play, but it's really hard to pull off. Actually, I have both of my DCs off in the deck, right? Still? Okay, I still have two DCs off in the deck, so maybe it's worth making this play. It would force him to knock out the Necrozma, although it's not very hard to pull that off nowadays. Okay, can we? Oh. How many Guzmas has Gar gone? None. That's awkward. Pretty Pebbles where it's at. Tell them again, Joey. Panera is not bad. I actually really like Panera. But tell them again, Joey. Fruity Pebbles is actual boss. Oreo O is best cereal. I haven't actually tried that one yet. Threats. Threats are approaching. Okay. So we have both cards out and ready almost. I think I have to just not attack this turn. Because this is a little bit too much setup. I think I'll wait on it. Oh, but I'm losing so many water energies if I, if I wait on it. I could also knock this out if I get the uh, DCE. But I can't Guzma and get DC in the same turn. And I want a Sycamore and I don't want to rely on Rescue Stretcher. I guess I could safely rely on it, but, you know, not the biggest fan of that idea. So, hmm. I could kind of slow him down by devolving all of his mons, forcing him to re-evolve again. One, two, three, he has to hit 170. 170 means six energies, right? It's not too hard for him to do, but if I, I can try to slow him down this way, how many water energies are gone? There's two on the hand, two in the discard pile, three on field, two, four, there's only one left after this, and an aqua patch. There's actually no more aqua patches. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to be really careful with this card. Let me actually see real quick before I make a play. Oh man. Uh, I have to do it because it doesn't change anything. I have to only attach DCs for now on. If I can get rid of his uh, scary, scary float stones, or choice bands, I mean. We're in a decent position there. Done with you. I'm going to go ahead and drop these two, just to get them out of the deck, thin out the deck as much as I can. Get you into my hand so I don't draw you. Okay. Oh, but I can't, I can't devolve this turn because I can't attack this turn. I guess I could go into this Nine Tails, but once again, like I don't have too many energy left in this deck. I can't risk this thing being knocked out. One, two, three. There's not enough 
finish using the deck. I can threaten an ice, and I can threaten a um, a GX attack, right? Ice path. We'll threaten an ice path. All Bomb Industries here. We value your thoughts, including your preference of cereal. Tell them again. Frosted flakes. Frosted flakes are dope. You can keep your lucky charms. I just want my berry, berry kicks, and Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch is dope. You guys are spitting out nothing but truth when it comes to cereals. Florida Crosby is clean. Tell them again. Honeycomb and Core Pops are also really good. Again, again, nothing but the truth. Is that a knockout? I think that's a knockout, actually. Oh, he's going to get two knockouts here for free. And then this thing is out as well. I can attack with Lele. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 80, 160. I don't have a choice band, though, so I don't actually get a knockout. Which is I'm stuck trying to attack with this. I think that's game, guys. Although, did he rare candy this? I actually don't know if he did. Um, did he rare candy this? Can I can I look? He didn't rare candy this. Hmm. He loses a bunch of energies if I do knock this out somehow. Pretty Pebbles is my bay. I'm trying to. F I don't know how I'm gonna play this matchup, guys. Like it's so tough. Like this right here, I think it's like unstoppable for me. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I don't know if I have any more ends left. I should have two. Ideally, I have two. Okay, so what's my play? I don't have any more choice bands. So I can't make that play. Um, this thing is not in range of being knocked out from my nine tails, So this thing, I can't do too much with that. If I GX, it doesn't do too much. I'd rather attack with Lele because I still get a lot more damage off that way. I could get Coco. And try to get my last GX later. I'm going to try that. Um, yeah, we'll get Coco. We'll get Coco and try to attack with it and get off some pretty big damage. The thing is, now I'm in range of just losing. But what can you do? Uh, we should have more ends in the deck. I'm just going to bank on the fact that I don't have two ends prized. Nice, we don't. Right, I think I can end here pretty safely. I want to bring him down a couple cards. He has Octillery, but I wanted this, so I have this. Okay. I mean, we're going to get one prize, I think. If we can do it one more time, we get maybe more prizes. Oh, man, if I could only just do it one more time. But unfortunately, we don't have any more to get. Uh, maybe I could have tried to get two, but I don't know. I don't have enough DCs. I wish I was able to attack with Guardi way earlier in the game. Ice cream pebbles equals the other two pebbles. I've actually never had those. Cocoa pebbles is better than fruity pebbles. I don't like chocolate cereal. I think it's pretty gross. Or is salty O's versus O's better than every other cereal? Why do people like? Why do people like to call me salty? Iran is here. What's up, Iran? How you doing, my dude? See, like, everything is bad right now. <laughs> we can't do too much about this game. He'll get a knockout here. We go into Espeon. We get, oh, never mind. He's gonna Ace Arola. Not really sure why, though. He gets a knockout, though, still, so I guess that's fine. I mean, Ace Arola works out for him. He doesn't, like, he, I couldn't have won this game. So, what can I do, right? Um, <laughs> what can I do? I mean, I know he has the energy in hand. I could try to make him not have the energy in hand. Go, I can't go for artillery though. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, 120, not enough damage. One, two, three, 60, not enough damage. Nothing is enough damage. Oh well. Oh well. It's my last DC as well. I haven't gotten a prize in a while. Oh well. What can you do? He's gonna knock me out, and then that's game because I can't do anything after that.
garb garb wasn't that bad i think the fine was the format was fine before guardy <laughs> i think uh, i think guardy wasn't a big deal until post rotation guardy is like too strong in post rotation i can attack and then he's gonna attack me with this card does he have supporters to play he has to play support as well if he wants to get a knockout I mean, there's not really much else I can do. Like, it's just it's over. It's over. GG's. Yeah, once again, I can't win this game. All right. Okay, so I think I, I want I want to keep the two Coco line. Garb and Gardevoir plagues. I think Garbodor is not even a problem in post rotation. I think Drampa's an issue. Don't challenge me, guys. You know the rules. Um, I think Garbodor. I think Drampa's an issue because of uh, because of Potown. All right, don't challenge me unless I say go in the chat. <sighs> I'll check trades in a second. All right, how do I want to do this? Once again, don't challenge me, or you will get removed from the friend list. Oh, the Guzma was an issue. I just couldn't come back from that, Steven. There's no energies left in the deck for me to do anything with. I don't know, man. The Ninetales matchup is too hard. I have to just overpower my opponent. Which just means I have to run smoother than Ninetales does. Which I do most of the time. But, like, that's the only way of winning. Alright, Steven. That sounds good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The cross Espeon idea kind of works, but the Espeon just doesn't work out as well as I would want. I mean, it worked in that one game. <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not angry. I'm just like, I just don't know what to do. Like, I'm still in a position to where like, I'm not winning. Maybe I should add a fourth choice ban, but that means I have to get a fourth secret rare choice ban, and that's awkward. See, if I didn't have choice ban prized. It would have been a different story too, because that fourth choice, that third choice man being prized, means I wasn't able to get my key knockouts when I could have got them. Hammers don't help. Like playing flip cards don't help. E hammers could maybe work, but it's not worth play. It's not worth playing them. I don't know. I could drop the Ace Rollers, but like if I drop the Ace Rollers, like other matches become really tough. Thanks for a good end to my birthday. All right, David. Have a hope you had a great birthday. Well, this is post rotation though, and no trainer mail. Another baby tails could help. It could, but you saw the issue, right? Like the issue isn't getting baby tails on the field. I think between two rescue stretchers and one, we should be okay. The issue itself is that they have both a Ranguru and a Gallade that can Oko baby tails. So the baby tails won't do anything. And even if I got those e-hammers, like, the e-hammers wouldn't change the math to where I wouldn't be knocked out. Because you saw how many energy this man had on his Pokemon. I think, I don't think the e-hammer was an issue. One card I could try <clears throat> is Promo Jirachi. Because Choice Banded Promo Jirachi does a lot of damage on the opponent's Pokemon. Uh, what is it? It does... 20 becomes 50 because it does like a hundred damage i think i'm gonna remove this because the black ray just isn't good enough it's not quick enough it's not fast enough i'm gonna try promo jirachi because a lot of the times they will have dcs attached they can't they can't not have it because we have so much we have so much hp the jirachi is still in the format it hits for weakness with choice band you are doing a lot of extra damage i know it's still in the format because this is where the cutoff is so 67 onward unless somebody else uh unless you guys tell me otherwise i'm pretty sure we can still play this um it gets rid of the dce right we're doing 10 damage 20 with weakness if we have that means we're doing 40 damage i uh, know we're doing 20 with, with weakness so we're doing 20 damage there right um if we had choice band we're doing 40 damage 80 with weakness um 80 weakness is really good because it puts things it puts them in range of the other of the other nine tails 
which as you guys can see we can set up the other nine tails in one turn so all right it's still playable i, I guess this is like my best bet right necrozma is hard because necrozma you need a guaranteed two turns of setup unlike all of these other pokemon all of these other pokemon only need one turn of setup because of aqua patch so i guess this is not the play i have to make I could also play a one of E Hammer. Play two copies? Do I? I th oh, I do have two copies. I don't know if two copies is worth. I think one copy is fine. Because once again, we can play low Pokemon count because of our stretcher. And if it's prized, we can work around it because we still play this Espeon. Although, I don't even know if it's worth playing that Espeon anymore either. But like. If you attack with this and then attack with this, devolve and get the you can devolve and get the knockout most of the time if you have the uh, promo. Because if you think about it, right, I need choice band on Jirachi if I want to put the right damage to knock out with these nine tails. Because without choice band, I'm only doing twenty damage. Um. Read my comment before this. Manaphy X and drop Floatstone. I hate Manaphy. You don't need Manaphy because everything has one retreat in this deck that matters. So like, Manaphy is just bad. Because it's it's 120 HP EX Pokemon that's easy to knock out. That's so, it's just so easy to knock out. I, I don't like Manaphy in this deck. I like it in speed decks like, uh, like uh, Lapras and stuff like that, but not in this deck. Uh, I guess I could play one E-Hammer. What do I drop though? Should I just drop the Espeon? Espeon helps so much in the non Deancey matchups. Three Coco attacks into Espeon just kind of like wins me that game. Hey, already can you try out a deck I made? Doesn't need to be streamed. Yeah, if you can, you can PM me on Discord if you want with a deck list if you want me to see it in particular and talk to you about it. E Spirit or one Coke. One, what's E-Spirit? Keep Espeon, I'll help whenever you make the Jirachi play. See, the thing is, now I lose to Metagross, right? Because Necrozma was like my key of winning the Metagross matchup. Uh, I guess I have to make the Coco play against Metagross, too. Drop Bridget, you don't use it a lot. I do use it pretty often. I use it in the past three games, and two of the games I won. Oh, Espeon. No, I think I want to keep Espeon. Like, if not if not for Gardevoir, for Metagross as well. Um, no, I liked Bridget too much. Bridget's like, like there's too many Pokemon we have to put down. I, I, I kind of, I think I kind of need Bridget. I don't want to drop Floatstone. I don't know. I don't even know if playing E-Hammer is like so worth it. You know what I mean? We could drop one Acerola. If we really want to play E-Hammer. Because <sighs> I've only played Ace Roll like once. I don't want to be in prize because it's kind of clutch when it works. But drop an Ultra Ball? No, you don't drop Ultra Balls. That's key. Never drop Ultra Balls. Uh, can you help me make a Serena GX deck though? No, it's not good. <laughs> Especially without Forest. It was good with Forest, but we don't have Forest. Nah, I need the four because four keeps you consistent. Not to mention, you need the you need the discard power for the water energies for Aqua Patch, and you need the discard power for um, Octillaries as well. So you need to play your four. Uh, you need to play your four Ultra Balls. If there were more items that made you discard in standard, I'd probably play them as well. Drop two Flowstones and add an E Hammer and Choice Band. I don't like that. I know that Guzma is a thing. But I don't think it's worth losing the float stones because float stones help you combo. Because that's the thing about Nine Tails is that you have to combo a lot between your DCE Aqua Patches and being able to retreat for free. Sometimes you just have to attach for the turn on the Pokemon that you're Aqua Patching into, so you actually need your float stone because uh, usually the, all that combo comes with playing Sycamore and stuff like that. So 
dropping float stones is just a no-go for me. That's why I keep wanting to play more. Because by playing more, I can make those combos happen a lot more often. One field blower, I don't like that either. But maybe I should. Maybe I should. Uh because my guard matchup's pretty rough without it. Four, six, eight, twelve. 15. Yeah, I play 17 items. <laughs> I need that field blower. Drop a goose? I'm not dropping a goose. <laughs> you would consider playing a Skyla, Brooklyn Hill, and cutting Acerola? Uh, Skyla, as interesting and as much as I like Skyla, I've never used it. I think the consistency of, of Octillery is good enough that I don't need Skyla. You saw in those games that I, n I never whiffed the Aqua Patch when I actually needed it in any of those games I played. When I actually needed it for to that turn to win or get a huge knockout, I never whiffed my Aqua Patch. And that's like the only card I could see myself playing Skyla for. The only thing I could see myself dropping is Ace Rolla for E-Hammer. Um, hmm. See, my, my thing is with E-Hammer though, right? is that it's it's weird because the thing with DCEs and Gardevoir is that it's an immediate use like you play it you play the DC that turn to get the big knockout um, so it makes play by the time I play the e-hammer it's kind of too late so I'm going to try playing more guardian matchups in the future without he with without e-hammer and with e-hammer and see if I like it more I really like the Stardust Jirachi though. If I feel like I need a second one, I'll definitely drop Acerola for it. But for now, I'm kind of a fan of this. The Necrozma helped me in my Metagross matchup, but that was about it. Because <clears throat> Necrozma into, into, uh, into Lele attacking is so strong. <laughs> I know the point of I know what the point of getting playing two is, Kate. But like, I don't think I don't think. It's one of those things where, like, sometimes you gotta accept your auto loss. Um, but it's not worth changing the consistency of the deck to uh, to play a second Jirachi, especially since I play two stretchers. Like, the two stretchers is so incredibly powerful in um, in the deck. I got you, big dog. Drop one artillery, you will never use two in one game. I mean, I did in that last game. But like, the artillery is like a, is like key to the deck because it keeps you consistent, helps you get your combo. So if I drop a second artillery, then it's an issue because it's a very important part of the deck. And if I have it prized or if it's, if it's in the discard pile and I run I whiff my rescue stretchers or anything like that, it or if I just whiff it in general, it becomes a lot more awkward. And the one of Brooklyn Hill. If I play Brooklyn Hill, I would drop. I would br drop Bridget, but I'm not playing Brooklyn Hill. <clears throat> How much is a Jirachi? They're pretty expensive online. I don't know about IRL though. Uh, anyways, I think I'm good there. I can probably make the IRL change now. Pokemon Elite. Didn't I play you yesterday? I guess I'll just play you again. I want to get some different battles. If I played you guys yesterday, don't challenge me. I'll make the exception for this person. But uh, I want to battle other people that I haven't played yet. I'm assuming we're doing... What's up, Bam Bam? You subbed? Oh, yeah, it's Drope. Octillery for a Ranguru? Nah. You usually have a lot of cards in your hand. and Octillery. I tried, to, I tried Ranguru. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Uh, for funsies, we can play this. Then why don't you try? Why don't try swap artillery for ring? Oh, that's what I was. Yeah, I was just saying for that. Um, this rain is putting me to sleep straight up. You're I'm limited. What do you mean limited? Oh, then no. It's alright, Timmy. We can play again today. Uh, it's it's just actually not like a rule I've been making. I haven't made that rule like a thing until just now as well. Just because I want to be fair to the other viewers, because I have a lot of people that constantly challenge me today. And like, as much as I hate being constantly challenged, I want to give other people a chance. I forgot what was in this deck. 
It's been a long time since I played the stick. Do I have promo Jirachi still? I don't know if I sold them all, because they're actually worth a pretty good amount of money. Well, at least they were when I sold them. I do still have it dope. We're playing in the Zoroark, interesting. Forgot where it was. Man, these hands are some garbage. Top decks? Nope, not the top deck I wanted to see. I could could just get some damage off on this this turn, I suppose. There's not too much I really want to do. He's playing the Potown for me. Works out in my favor, I suppose. Um. <laughs> Not too sure what I want to do in this game so far. So I get those down so I have them ready. Do I have any what's it called? Uh, perfect fits on hand? Did I get rid of all of them attached to you guys? I did. Still understand how Top Lily has raised to $65 earlier today. Worlds is over, right? Yeah, but that's where people realize that they have to play three ofs, pretty much. They have to have at least three to survive. People are okay with just having two. But now that Worlds is over, like, things are just going up in price because of Worlds as well. You gotta, you can't forget about that. Ooh, good hand is good. Maybe we can get a decent hand next turn. That's fine. Um, sure. I don't know. I do not know. I don't really need it, so it doesn't matter if it gets field blurred. I'm debating if I want to do that because I want to get a dark energy next turn. Whatever. I think we're okay without it. What's your what? What's you me favorite set? My favorite set is Furious Fist. Uh, my favorite standard set? I don't know. I was gonna give it my thing again. I might just scoop this game up because I'm not in, really in the mood to play anything that's gonna be frustrating. <clears throat> not in the slightest. Uh, yeah, it's not not cannot be me. Not today. I guess I can try to get dark energy. I guess. <laughs> he can't get a knockout next turn. Even if he does 180. Does 180 knock me out actually? It does knock me out. Awkward. Oh well. Turns off his abilities, I suppose. No Lele's for any of us. Play Tapu Koko GX? I guess I could. I haven't touched that deck in a long time. I know it drops CCEs, but this is a slow deck I'm just attaching anyways. It's not like I even care about this game anyways. This, this I do not care about this game. <laughs> Uh, I'm playing a Lolan Muck GX. Let me know. Let me know if I should care. In the comments. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get a knockout now. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop it up. I don't really, I don't wanna play this game anymore. I'm gonna tell him GG. GG, bro. I'll get another game.
I already played him yesterday anyways. I, I don't think he'll care if we don't have a full game. Go. Where is my Night Tales deck? Why should you worry? Why should you care? That's what I'm saying. We are worry free up here in Orbomb Industries, alright? That is a motto. Do not care. We don't sweat the haters. In fact, the only thing we sweat, the only place we sweat, is at the gym where we get in those gains. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> alright, somebody challenged me. I put Go in the chat already. God, you guys are so lazy. <laughs> I gotta find my Necroz one to get out of the deck. I'm having fun testing Nine Tails. This is like the first time I've seriously tested Nine Tails since the release of uh, Burning Shadows. Like today and yesterday when I got those games. Was it yesterday? Yesterday when I got those games. And uh, now. Where is my Necroz one? Is nobody gonna challenge me? Hey, also, happy Halloween, everyone. What are you talking about? That is nine tails. There's too many full... Oh, no, Cross was on the top. All right, that makes sense. Um, the ore bomb industry. So, dude, we are, in, we are in industry. Nothing but the finest of gentlemen here in ore and And females. The finest of women. Can I challenge? I'm starting... To, yeah, Nico, you can challenge. If you get to it first. I mean, most players... I mean, this is weird because I usually don't have this much waiting time, especially since I had so many people challenging me earlier whenever I was waiting. <clears throat> to A B industries. The A B the, the A B industries is lit, you know it. Uh there we go. That kid lucky. What's my favorite starter? That's I don't know. Like my favorite baby is probably Poplio because Poplio has that extreme self confidence. You know what I'm saying? And I like it. I remind myself of a pop, you know? We just, we out here losing self-confidence. <clears throat> oh, this is a good chance to show off that list that somebody wanted to see. I'm trying not to rip my sleeves. It's a bunch of backward ones. I hate that it's like really dark here and I can't do anything. Um, I lost the coin flip and I disconnected my headphones and everything's going wrong. But like, Poplio, although he's my favorite starter, he's definitely not my favorite evolution line. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm like, I like Scraggy, but not a starter, but it's not a starter, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 20. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's fifty. All right. So I do have all my cards. I just want to make sure I didn't drop any on the ground because I wouldn't be able to see. I don't want to move around my rolling chair and ruin probably an incredibly expensive card. Man, I still need to get my last Ultra Ball, my Seeker Ultra Ball. Still, like right now, I'm only one Choice Band, one Guzma, one Seeker Ultra Ball. And two rescue stretches away from maximum rarity of my Nine Tails deck, which is cool and all, but it's frustrating because somebody stole my Ultra Ball, so that's just an extra fifty dollars that I have to spend that I shouldn't have to spend. But apparently, I'm surrounded by bad luck and evil people. Um, what do you record with OBS? Yep, you act like I can afford these silly. Uh, Recording programs like XSplit. I don't even make money on YouTube, but nobody donates to me anymore. I blame Pat. Pat was cool because Pat, like, initiated the donations. You know what I mean? Like, he'd show up and people would just start donating with him. <laughs> now he doesn't show up to streams. <laughs> Not like it matters. Donations are just, like, a nice thing people did. I don't really need it. Luckily, I got a new job. Unluckily, I don't start till next week because of all this raining. In case I get a nine tails or Vulpix off this end. Oh, you are late, LFC. You're pretty late, actually. That sucks. I'm sorry, bro. But nice to see you. Glad that you made it, at least. Catch this core beam. 
I'm going to preserve power and call a night. Stay safe and stay dry. Make sure there's no cards on the ground. Thank you, Devin. Have a good night, bro. What would your first rap album be titled? Titled? Um, man, I don't know. I know that if I had a metal album, I'd call it Iron Tails and a Steel Wing. <laughs> I think I remember being like a 12 year old and thinking that was the cleverest thing ever. It's like <laughs> Pokemon references, but metal and metal band. What's up, Machine Core 500? How you doing, man? Nice to see you. So we're playing Lunala. I really want. I really like Lunala. I want to continue to play Lunala. It's just hard. Uh, well, since I'm discarding a bunch of things here, might as well max potion. Nice. We cannot get a knockout though. Actually, we cannot. No, we still can't. Uh, I think before I make this play. Actually, I'm just gonna make a play anyways. I can discard these. Mm. I can get Lele Met Metagross. Get another Beldum down to evolve it next turn. I'm gonna do that. I really hope Lele is impressed. I really hope Lele is impressed. Beldum. You are not prized, dope. The cross is going to be really useful here as well because you can get big knockouts. Dude, the person that was disliking is still watching the stream, so it's one of you viewers. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, because they me I mentioned the giveaway and the dislike is gone. So I wonder which one of you guys that are still watching was disliking. I don't think it was King Lao. Usually King Lao would dislikes, but, um, well, actually, I don't know that for sure. I'm, I don't think he actually dislikes, because he's been to a lot of streams over there that hasn't been a dislike. So that's pretty presumptuous. I shouldn't say that. But, um, but, like, somebody, in, somebody, somebody here is, somebody here is the dirty disliker. I mean, that's fine. A dislike is still, is still views. Let's see what he's gonna do here. Is he gonna end me? Ending me would be okay. Obviously, Team Bad Deck, dude, clearly. The man who actually donated me a uh, full art Guzma, IRL, <laughs> is the one who's disliking, you know, out of spite. He's gonna end me, that's interesting. I mean, I'll take it, that's free cards. Uh, when they lose a the giveaway, they're gonna dislike again, dude. I'm telling you, this this is why I hate doing giveaways on the channel because like the second I do the giveaway, um, somebody is going to not, somebody is going to uh, hate that, hate the giveaway, the fact they didn't win, and um, dislike the stream. So you know what I'm gonna do actually because of that. I hope all of you guys have Discord because I think after the stream. We're going to go onto Discord and choose a winner, or better yet, the beginning of next stream, near the end of, oh, I don't know, it's actually tough. Man, I don't know when I should do it, because like the most appropriate time is to do it on this stream, while people are here, especially the people that I liked. But, I'm going to turn off my abilities, which is a wonderful play if Lele didn't exist. Um, dope, we will do this. Uh, I don't have to put that down, actually. Do I have two medals down there? I only have one, so I have to get another medal somehow, which is not going to be a thing I can pull off, huh? I can get another Metagross down, that's not a big deal. I could get Necrozma. I would have to get Necrozma and Metagross somehow this turn. So I think I'm going to play... Uh, would you like to search your deck for Discover? I guess. I think I'm going to play... Man, I really, really want to get Metagross down. I can Skyla get a second Ultra Ball, right? Maybe. So I can knock this out, because this thing's a threat. Um, what is, is Cosmo weak to Psychic? I actually don't know. 
It is, so I have to be careful about that. If I get Skyla in the second Ultra Ball, what does that do for me? Nothing crazy, right? I still can't attach anyways because of the Wobble Fit. I would have to play this card. Um, but then I can't attack this turn unless I'm attacking with Lele. There's not really a point in doing that either. So I think I'm just going to play a Draw Supporter. We'll get second Metagross down. Um, oh, whoops! That was supposed to be an Ultra. I was supposed to play an Ultra Ball there. I don't know why I did that. Oh, that's so awkward now. Oh, that's so annoying. See, I was supposed to play Ultra Ball. I don't know why the end was there. In my head, I was playing Ultra Ball. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's already been done. And what's done is done. I don't have energies. That's the only issue. Oh, well, we'll beacon. Get to Metagross. Misclicks or misclicks. What can you do? Yeah, Pokemon, like, there's a lot of people that just take them down nowadays, so it's hard to find ROMs. That was an upsetting spaghetti play. What can you do? Watching these streams mad. Dude, what do you mean, Eric? Made me want to play again. Oh. That's dope. Pokemon's fun. I always recommend it. Let's see if he plays N again. I didn't play down my other thing, though. The cool thing about this is that by having this out, I can get my own free retreat. Excuse me. You can't Lele for N now, though. So we'll probably be able to successfully get off our double Metagross and Guzma play if I can top deck a Metal Energy. Actually, I would need what? Yeah, I just need one Metal Energy, right? Because I have two down there. Yeah, all, all I need to do is top deck one Metal. This is why people people keep telling me play less Metal. I'm just like, nah, y'all are crazy. All right, I think we'll do our Hoji exit boy now. But if I see, I don't know. I'm so afraid of getting dislikes. Cause like dislikes are getting frustrating nowadays. And I know the second that I see them, I have to just like stop doing giveaways. I'm gonna make them Discord exclusive probably after today. Uh, I think I think for now, I think after this giveaway, we're gonna make them Discord exclusive. If I see a lot of dislikes again, the Lugia in the ladder is nice. Lugia is bad. But I think we're just gonna do the giveaway today. So Ho O -Oh is a thing I'm giving away today. So if you guys want a chance of getting a Ho O -Oh GX, um. Oh, we gotta answer a question of the day. What's a question we can do? Um, what's a very simple effect that you want a supporter Pokemon to have? A supporter card to have? Like, cause the best Pokemon... So we can actually use Metagross now. The best Pokemon have the simplest abilities, right? That's the whole thing about Pokemon lately. So... Oh, we keep getting Psychic and not Metal. Oh, well, we can potentially top deck because we are going to play some more here. So, if you could, like, make up one ability, one supporter ability, what would it be with the hashtag rebirth? I think that seems decent, right? Choice ban here because we don't actually need the choice ban for the 2 at KO. Let's take a more. LFC, I think you're really behind, bro. Someone tell LFC that I think he's super behind. We can get a big knockout later in the game, too, with, uh, with the... What's it called? Necrozma that Pokemon. Pick two cards from discard pile into your hand. That's too strong. Come on. Make them actually feasible, people. Put cards from discard pile into hand. People, why do people want that? That's way too strong. Move energy freely? That I could see that being a thing. Like your sport of the turn, it would probably cost like some energies of some kind, but it would be a decent attack you could pull off. Two cards from discard into hand. Dude, everybody wants that. Refresh your stream, you're behind. Oh yeah, thank you, Joey. Psychic. 
some Metagross deck plays Necrozma and is a basic. One card from discard to hand. Dude, there's, that's still too strong of a supporter. The ability to put any random card. I got a couple cards for you to use for giveaways. Random Maker? Really? That's kind of dope. Thank you. Oh, he has the Max Potion. That's going to be awkward for me. These games take so long. Unfortunately, I lost all my Max Potion early game because of Sycamore. Bro, being able to put item cards back into your hand, puzzle pieces back into your hand, that's a little bit too strong. Like, even one card is, like, super duper strong, especially if you're not paying a cost for it. Switch your deck for three cards and put them on top of your deck. I mean, don't we already have that with Mallow? You just want a stronger Mallow. Discard two cards from your hand, then shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. Iran has the right idea, right? That's not too. That's not too powerful. Nothing about that seems overpowered. Um, very simple, straightforward ability. I like that. Good job, Iran. That's what I like to see. All right, so I think I have to get Guzma this turn and knock out like a Lele or something. I don't have Choice Band anymore though, so it's not gonna work. Uh, I think I just have to keep attacking this thing. Do I have enough energies down there? I guess I do, technically, with Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball, oh, I have Max Potion. Why can't I play it? Oh, I can't heal. Oh, I have to switch to heal. Is it worth? Uh, I think I'd rather get a draw supporter. Oh, oh that's really bad for me. I can only discard one energy. Mm. That's kind of dope, I'm not going to lie. Because now I have a fully set up and ready to attack the following turn. I'm not going to max potion now, but like, it's still kind of awkward. Oh, crap. I messed up. Uh, didn't think about this. I didn't actually mess up because I have Ultra Ball still. But it's still a little bit awkward. I'll hold on to Lele for now. I don't really need to get it at this moment of time. Although, if I manually attach and put... Hold on. There's... Oh, there's only one... Oh, if I had more Psychic Energies. Oh, I could have got a big knockout with that card. I think we'll just get this for now. We won't use it right now. Geotech. There we go. Or are we allowed to repeat the rebirth? Yeah, don't play, don't do it over and over again, please. Only do it one time. Um, moderators, do your best to delete re repeat ones if you can. Um, just because it makes it easier for me to pick a winner fairly. Is there anything I want to do? Not really. If he gets, I'm afraid of this. I kind of don't like this stadium on the field. I got all because I want to put my energies in the discard pile for Metagross. It's cool that I have two set up, but I don't want that to be a thing consistently. Discard two energies from your opponent's Pokemon. See, I like that, uh, but that's really strong. You know what I mean? Because we already have a supporter that's like discard two cards to do that with one energy. That's kind of insane. Grab energy from your Pokemon into your hand, then you can grab the same amount from your opponents and put them... Oh, no, I don't want that, Kate, because that's going to make Gardevoir even more broken. Move two energy to a Pokemon that is a water Pokemon. From a different Pokemon, you mean? I could see that. Remove your active Pokemon's weakness until the end of your opponent's next turn. That would be dope. Every deck that has an inherent weakness would play it. I would play like a one of in Nine Tails. <laughs> Shuffle five non Pokemon or energy cards from your discard pile back to the deck. So five trainer cards. That is really strong. That's like too strong. Are the top five cards from your opponent's deck? No, that's too strong too. You guys gotta think in the in the mind of Pokemon, right? 
If there's a card that already does something similar to what you're saying, then you shouldn't say it. Like, for instance, know the top five cards from your opponent's deck. We have a supporter card that is flip two coins, discard the top two for every heads. All right, that would be an insanely better version of that card. Like, insanely better, because you don't have to flip, and even if you do get two heads, you're getting one extra card with it as well. He's going to knock this out. Oh, awkward. Yeah, awkward. I was thinking about max questioning, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like it was necessary. He's refreshing us. We can set this up. We have more energies in the discard pile. Uh, we could potentially set up a Necrozma. And he's threatening this, which means... Oh, my, my, both my field floors are gone, huh? Mm, that's awkward. All three of them are gone. Ooh. Ooh, that's a rough hit, actually. Because he gets to keep his energies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 160. He's not going to do more than 160 if I knock out Lunala. Which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to knock out Lunala because that thing's annoying. He can get another one down, I guess, but we get two prizes off of knocking out Lunala, and I want my prizes. Can we see like up to two or three? No, just one. Just one. One for the entry. All right. We can talk more about it later whenever I whenever I pick a winner. But for now, one for the entry. So now has got to go. Lele can't Oko me. I need another Metagross down as well. I know we're just trying to get the Ho Oh Man, but that's not fair to the other people. What'd you say, Chris? I haven't even seen you on stream that much, Chris. Switch your resistance and weakness of both Pokemon? That's dope. See, those are dope. Rebirth. Reveal your opponent's hand if there's a tool card attached to any of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Hmm. I like it. I think that's really cool as an ability, too. Your turn now ends. Oh, that would be cool, Noah. I like that one more. Discard two opponents' energy from your turn. Uh, from your uh, two of your opponents' energy, your turn now ends. That would be cool. I would like some more turn-ending supporters, like strong supporters that just end the turn, because like those are not broken by any means, but they're really dope. Don't tell me he's gonna get a knockout. That would be insane. I want to play this deck again just because of Necrozma. Are you kidding me? That's so dope. He needs how much? 60, 120, 180, 240. He needs five energies on this Necrozma. But then he gets so ahead in the field in the game. Or a choice band. But he needs five energies. That's so many energies is gone because he wants to get a knockout. He won't get the knockout without five. There he does. Okay, so he's making the five play. Alright, so I definitely need to get like a rare candy Metagross. We still have them in the deck. So maybe this end will help me out. That's such a dope play that he made. That's actually super dope, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try to go for this Metagross play, because we have the Metagross in the deck, I think. Yeah, we have the Metagross in the deck. Choice Man helps because we get a knockout on this if, it, if this play works out. Uh, we'll just play N here. Ah, so close. So close. We end him down to one. He's kind of stuck now. I'm going to probably algorithm this turn. Just because, you know, why not? Algorithm. I want max potion. Choice band. No more Bridget's. Not much left, actually. But we should be able to potentially win this game. We don't have any Guzma left or anything. Ugh, we have to actually get manual knockouts to win this game. I was hoping to get Guzma so I don't have to switch between my Metagrosses too much. Doesn't seem like it's going to be a thing, though. He can attack me with Lele. I get a knockout. He keeps his two energies on the board. He'll make he'll make it three. Three is not enough for a knockout, but he can Guzma at some point to get game, which is scary. He's just going to pass. Seems kind of weird, but we'll take it, because we get a knockout now. Geotech. We have three energies as well, so if need be, I can attack with Necrozma next turn. 
in case it gets rid of my choice band or something. Giga Hammer. And he probably has to go into Wob. Yeah. We're going to have to wait an extra turn. Swampert, I'm going to let you pick the winner, okay, man? Pick it after this game. If you don't mind, that is. Just in case he does any shenanigans. play that down because I know it's going to get knocked out and I'm going to be mad about it. <laughs> Alright, I'll make this play. I'm not going to use Skyla anymore this game. I'll pass. Skip your opponent's next turn. <laughs> How Skip your opponent's next turn as a GX attack sounds absolutely insane. Insane. If we can get rare candy and metagross here, that'd be nice. Nope. I guess this way we're not reliant on uh, using abilities if he gets another wobble foot down. Dude, skipping your opponent's next turn would be insane. Because um, that means you get to both attack, you get to have two turns of setup. Since your GX attack is being used that turn, I'm assuming it's not going to do any damage, right? So, like, you would, uh, you would do all of your setup, GX, have another turn of setup, and then be able to probably get a knockout since you had two turns of setup. That'd be like one of the best first turn attacks to ever exist. But that's just it's just it's too good. We can't do it. What can I do? Not really sure. I'm feeling kinda stuck. It's so obscure. Dude, if I can get like a top deck Metagross, that'd be kind of nice. He can't attack this turn. He can't use his GX on anybody either. Ooh. More retreating options. I'm only one prize away. He can't retreat out of this. He has to keep his Lunala active, and then I win the following turn unless he has more max potions. Dope. We didn't get the Metagross like I wanted, but that is okay. 90 HP, you can do 90. I could Rescue Stretcher for my other Metagross, but I'd rather have that around in case I need to refill my deck. We have more than enough energies to just constantly use this thing, so in case, and that way I'll always have energies on my Pokemon if need be. I'm afraid of Lele though. Can Lele beat me? Three energies. I uh, say that he can't attach Choice Band unless he field blows into Choice Band, so maybe he can knock me out. If I put four energies on a Metagross with three energies on a Lele, four energies on a Lele, it's 160, 190, it's not a knockout. He won't be able to knock me out. And if he goes into Lele, he loses, so I, I feel free to make this play. 
I just don't want him to knock out a meta. Actually, if he knocks out a Metagross, it's game over anyways, right? GX attack that lets you look at both you and your opponent's face down prize cards and does 50 damage for each Pokemon prized. The big gamble. So you just flip over both prize cards because you can't lie about it, right? So you just flip over the prize cards. Um, you'd have to do it like, like Gladion's text, right? Like um, you have to shuffle the prizes when you're done. That'd be pretty cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. There's a max potion, so he stalls an extra turn. Which is scary. But he can now start doing damage. Which means we need to top deck one of those sweet, lovely uh, max potions. I don't know how many he's playing. I know I have one more in the deck. He has played two. So he potentially has two more. So we could actually lose this if we're not careful. Choice Man doesn't get him a knockout or anything like that, so it's not a big deal. Moon Geist to be me. That's not what I wanted to see. So now he has Guzma, he wins, and there's not much I can do about it. Oh well. I think I have to evolve my better gross like now. Oh no, this is really awkward now. Uh, now Lele can win because of this stupid thing. This is a problem. I should have enough metal energies down there, right? This is a problem because now Lele can win if he Guzmas. He has a lot of Guzma outs now. Um, what can he do? Kick a hammer. What settings do you use for OBS? Please help me when I am recorded lags like crazy. Just look it up. It took me a little, a lot of like researching, but uh, it's not that hard. You know, I guess he doesn't have Guzma. Unless he's toying with me. I don't like when people toy with me. So hopefully he's not doing that because that would trigger me. All right, let's see if he has Lele for Guzma. I don't think he has any more Leles left. He's Cosmog. And once you get the hang of it, it's not that good. It's not that hard. Just watch YouTube videos. He just forfeited. I get. Oh, he had no more max potions left. So no matter what, I got a knockout last turn. Next turn. GG, bro. GG, 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 GGs. GG, GGs. GG, 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 GG. Okay, well, that was fun. I think we're going to end the stream there because it's getting kind of late. I've streamed for two and a half hours today. So it's actually a pretty decent amount of streaming. Um, I'm feeling kind of good. Feeling kind of good about this. I feel like I can safely open up some packs and maybe get something. I need some more codes, though. I need to find people who are nice enough to hand me codes oh yeah oh yeah and then swamper you go ahead and pick a winner do that my dude do that my dude it was a close game lucky for sure <clears throat> i like lunala a lot i should play lunala again post rotation lunala doesn't even sound that bad actually it still sounds pretty bad but it doesn't sound that bad, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna open up five packs. We got a dark eye. A dark eye. We got a reverse Ralts, that's pretty dope. I need some more of those IRL. If I ever want to build maximum rarity Gardevoir. <laughs> Which I kind of feel like I don't want to do. So I probably won't. In fact, I'm probably gonna play min rarity. Actually, I can't afford to play Minority because I have to have four Gardevoirs. Nothing. All right, so that was bad luck. Bad luck. Let's open up one of these older packs that they have in the shop right now. Before you log up, let me send you cards. All right, Random Maker. Which one should I buy, guys? Which one's better? I know this one has N, but like it doesn't matter because I can't give it away. So I need cards that are good for Legacy. Which two of these should I get? Uh, you guys know the expanded format more than me. Legacy format more than me. I don't know what's good in those packs that I haven't played back then. Can 
can don't donate me all their dust skulls from burning shadows you in the mood for some dab skull bro noble victories emerging powers is garbage is this one emerging powers don't know what this is oh it is emerging powers okay so emerging powers is bad Daniel Daniel Alves Basin is the winner of the giveaway. Congrats, Daniel, bro. You win the uh, Ho'o GX that I have for trade. So if you want to go ahead and make a trade offer to me, <clears throat> we can get you a Ho'o GX. Oh, the money is... Do you use OBS or OBS? I use Studio. Dude, if I get a floor end, that's going to be really awkward. Because I don't want to use it. I want to give it to people. I only have one for giveaway, though. Here's the ho of case you want to see. I had six, so I figured I might as well give one away to the, my lovely viewers. So it's for trade already. So what's Orbomb's IGN? It is AB Orbomb, I believe, or is it Orbomb AB? One or the other. It's Orbomb AB. Thank you, Swampert. To be honest, I'm a little salty. Dude, people are just salty in general. That's why I don't like doing giveaways, man. They make people upset. I don't, I've rarely opened up this. Oh, this one has Eviolite. Look at that. It's dope. We got another reverse N. If you get one, give N to me. No, I'm selling one of my N's to uh, Nico Nico. I have to keep, I, I never remember to do that stuff. It's putting this 20 HP for each fighting energy attached to it. Why is that kind of dope? Hello? Why is that such a strong card? I want to play Kinkelder. Hello? Kinkelder with uh, strong energies, Carbink, DCEs. Oh, that would be kind of dope. Yeah, I'm going to be doing Discord only giveaways. As well, we still have that donation go giveaway as well. So there's that. Um, what was the end of the month giveaway for donators? People that donate uh, this month. Which, by the way, there's only like three days left, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, for every dollar you donate, you get one entry, and uh, we'll pick a random winner based on the entries. And the give the giveaways for this month are a full art Tapu Lele GX and a Secret Rare Enhanced Hammer on PTCGO. There's not a lot of people have donated, not nearly as much as last month. So if you guys want to have a chance to donate this month uh, for a chance to win it, there's always a small odd you can get it, so you might as well give it a try if you want to. But it also helps support me, helps support school life me being fed and sleeping well at night <laughs> stuff like that gonna randomize those ruby on salty joe hey good luck bro yeah i never said you a price on n i keep forgetting bro so you think you're thinking 80 burning shadows right all right man congrats appreciate it man appreciate your support Pull the full art lately. My first pack of Guardians Rising. That's amazing. Okay, it, it's on the it's on the Discord. I believe you donated this month. Let me check. Um, monthly giveaways. You this month, Iran. You have donated seven dollars, so you have seven entries. So far this month, we have Pat with twenty six entries, Nico with thirty two, Friday with eight, Ty with thirty five, Iran with seven, Nebby with eight. Did I say Nebby twice? No, I said I, I said yeah, whatever. Chicken Nougat, who I haven't seen in forever with two, and I bring the luck with four. We're probably not going to count I bring the luck because he doesn't want to be counted. Because <laughs> he told me that in specific, he just donated because he likes donating. Um, but those are the those are the donations this month. Uh, okay, dope. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. Drop a like if you have not already. As always, greatly appreciate it. Subscribe, share, all that good jazz. And yeah, hopefully we can show up tomorrow with a, an Insurgent Snuzlocke. Because Insurgents is becoming a lot of fun. And whew, it's a mess. Anyways, drop a like, subscribe, share all that good jazz. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.